Shine a light through a prison full spectrum Pull the curtains back, you're my dimension Lay back and just forget the future Star brain in a two star town, and I'ma give it back when I have enough money in my hands, enough for the friends and the fam. And I owe it all to Yahweh. Lord knows that I couldn't do it my way. Almost bought a ticket for the pass lane. Now I'm hopping on a flight to the Epiglades to forget the pressure.
My name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bard. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music makes people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means little seer with stars in her eyes, and it was given to me because I was born the connection to spirits. Fire spirits, especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm travelling with my friend the Sarah. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time, and if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there, let me introduce myself. I'm Lucer Sho and I'm a pardon in training at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yes. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This. My name is Rocky. I come from Ronsla. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose, to document a plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So, my exchange for work abroad was settled and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home and gardens were raided. I, I still remember how the earth shattered, as did my heart, while each member of my family fell. In the aftermath, days and night faded into each other, and I felt the light of the garden slowly reach inside of me in terror at the broken shambles of my body slowly turning it all back to earth. However, to my surprise, I slowly regained functionality. The plants and flowers that I had cared for seemed to somehow remember my presence, and having taken root inside of me, grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose, and to whom I owe my existence, one thing I know is that 
there is hope even in a fragmented self. Whenever I close my eyes, I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers that continue to sustain me. And I know that I'll never be alone again. Truly, there's something magical about life. Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, hello everyone, welcome to the Vibe In, and welcome to session hello. 14 of Throwing the Top Sands. I'm going to turn Georgia you up just a tidge. <laughs> Is the volumes all good for everyone? Um, hello everybody. Is the music too loud? Is, Is Sam and Georgia too loud, too quiet? Hopefully not. Um, time doesn't need to be on screen right now. He always needs to be on screen. <laughs> I was thinking putting him where uh, Pimera is for today's session. Oh, mm. I'm really stupid. I did something really weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What have you done? No, nothing. It's okay. okay. Well, I'll introduce um, everyone to you guys. We have with us Georgia, who's playing Low Nico. Georgia, you want to say hello? Hello. That's, 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 that's Georgia. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am Moniko, the tiny 15 year old bird. Oh, she's... I'm still level 2. Soon, soon. Squishy. Mm. And I just want to make friends. Mm. Hello. <laughs> and then we have Sam who's playing Lo-Fi Boy or 10 Fi ATY. Hello, I am me and I have emotions. <laughs> Emotions. Oh, you do, yeah, because we rewatched a bit last session just to remember, because it's been two months since we last played, and um, sadly there'll be no Beth, uh, who is Pimera's player. Um, she's got some live stuff going on right now, and uh, so she's had to step out for a few sessions, and she is going to be on hiatus for a bit, but we're going to continue with that for a while. Also, hello everyone. Hello. Uh, B-Town, hello, yo. Thank you for the, um, the retweet, by the way, as well, yo. Uh, B-Town, Seasonal Bard, yo, and uh, Discarded Talk. And also, hello, Vix. Hello, everyone. And thank you, everyone that's watching the VODs or lurking. I hello appreciate you guys being here. You're all beans. But yeah, um, seeing as it's two months, we're going to do a quick... I'm going to try and do a quick recap. Well, actually, do you guys want to do the recap? Because I can't remember exactly what happened last session. Everything that happened last oh session. God. <laughs> I can try. I can definitely try. Yeah, I feel like you're. You'd be the most competent at this, I think. Oh, I mean, I guess. Thank you. 
Um, but, um, <laughs> 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 Go on, robot man. With all this fumbling, okay? um, it's beautiful. Uh, okay, so last time, I believe that we went to the like festival. I don't remember the name of the festival though. The Heroma Parade. Yes, and it was really awesome. And like, there was like so much like so many like many people playing music and like. A lot of like lonely codes with different masks. Um, it felt like a lonely code invasion, but in a very good way. And it, it was a cool parade. Like there was like music everywhere, and like the yokai and ghosts were just like not having it though, and they were like being pushed away from the city or something. It was really weird. And at that night, um, we noticed like one of the yokai like hiding in one of the manholes of the street. And uh, we all noticed it and thought it was weird, so we just like kept that in like the back of our minds. When the next day came around, we decided to put up, I think, a quest for a Rocky. Um, you did missing thing. So it's a, actually. Uh, uh, can I interject for a second? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that because it's funny. Um, in the West marches that we run on the Discord, you can actually find that quest that they uh. They put up there. No way. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, it's uh, there. They're, they're looking. So yeah. we're basically looking for legal help. So if you viewers want to help us find Rocky, you can actually. <laughs> <laughs> help if you want to play a lawyer in West Marches. Yeah, mm. no, we we miss Rocky. We need it. No, we I really miss Jacob. I'm really excited for yeah. him to eventually come back. Which hopefully and... will be soon. Mm -hmm. Um. So for the yeah. rest of the recap, then we after we did that little uh, like quest request thing, uh, we went outside, met up with time, and then time decided to be <laughs> well. So, while rewatching, uh, I just got to enjoy reliving uh, Time's rejection of feeling like home or friendship because apparently he doesn't deserve that, but like, I don't know, like, just accept love, Time. But then, but then when Lodico comes around, it's like, oh, like, like do you want to eat snacks? And like, he's like, oh, do you want friendship? And it's like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so today maybe time will die who knows no i'm just kidding who knows but, you know lo has the power of friendship and anime and god on her side um, mm -hmm. being a tiny uwu child i am very much jealous um, <laughs> of that i'm ready to cut off my legs and be yeah. my boy on wheels or something just mm. to be at a better height for friendship if I can. <laughs> Friendship um, stops at five foot four. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so anyways, uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so now we're in the sewers, because um, like we decided to just kind of like spontaneously um, like this to check out the yokai situation in the sewers and time revealed that like it's actually the way that like he goes in and out of the city in a sneaky sneaky way mm -hmm. and yeah like it's we're we've just like started being in the sewers so mm. we're probably a gonna like down here there is uh, i don't not to alarm you or anything um <laughs> but yeah so oh, like <laughs> wow. Chimera, yeah, sorry. But yeah, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn George up just a bit more again. There we are. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna quickly just describe the scene in a second. Uh, but before I do that, uh, for chat, you guys may, uh, may be aware 
that like there's uh, some channel point interactions such as a healing spirit and chance inspiration that you can use to support the party but also you can uh, do lair actions um you to know, like just in case you hate us <laughs> if it like if you want some incentive uh, we almost tpk the party once with uh, some lair actions during the rocky verse when they were playing level 20 players um but yeah <laughs> and also if uh, we um we may not be fully like acknowledging chat and tr uh, stream purely because we're going to be focusing on the game but we will be uh in chat typing away with you guys so uh feel free to enjoy the vibes and if you want to you can also ask the party question through that and this should actually be um ask the party something because i did add a new uh, redemption which let me see i I did, I, but it's not there, so I might have forgotten to put it, put it up. Let me check. Where are we? Oh, ask the party. Yep, there we go. I don't like the look of these layer actions. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. See, so like you. Oh, and also another announcement. Alright. Well, I guess immediately flush. So I'll describe the scene, and as, as soon as anything else, we'll do that. Oh no, that's stinky. It is. I do nothing but evil. I'm glad. I'm glad you you're taking advantage of the reactions there. And Lord Boy Boy gets an inspiration as well. Um, but yeah, I'll. When do you what what? Sorry, I just realized I had glue on my head. Don't oh, ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, I got that. Um. But yeah, uh, and finally, uh, the announcement we were going to make, or I'm going to make, is uh, we're going to be uh, doing the second um, Thorns Up Sands poster challenge uh, to those. Oh, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um a lot of the stuff you can see on screen um is actually stuff that were from last year's posters um and there's still more that like i haven't added just yet because there were so many and uh, you can be a part of uh Shrey leo and the campaign by um and build onto the world by making posters for this poster challenge um, I'm going to be making it all official on Instagram right after the session, so you'll see stuff on Twitter, Instagram, and in the Discords, or the main Discord, uh, um, the Vibe in Discord. Um, and I'll be posting it everywhere I can as well, just as promotion. But yeah, the idea of the post challenge is you enter and you create posters based on a product, a um, e location, a person, such as like a wanted poster or just someone famous. Um, it could basically be like any kind of topic that fits the world of Shrey Leo. And um, you can it can be digital, it can be uh, traditional, it could be any uh, any medium of your choice. I love Shanks too, and tell him I said hello. Um, but yeah, you can enter that uh, and make and be part of Australia. And the winners of or oh, the everyone that enters gets um. Okay, Sam, I'm gonna break your legs because that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, we're about to get Oh yeah, you are. Um, but yeah, and everyone that's entering uh, and is entered into a prize draw um, where you'll uh, you could win one of the following: the um, one of the books from the Spelljammers, um, the new fifth edition Spelljammer books of uh, one of them of your choice, uh, Radiant Citadel, um, or even uh, what's the one? Uh, the other one. There's another. I think the Modern Kind and uh, the new Modern Kind book. Or, if you don't want any D&D books, you can get a £50 Amazon uh, gift card. Um, and that's what we're going to be giving away for this, um, as, as the prizes for the challenge. And they can be digital or physical copies, that's up to you. Um, but yeah, and so that's uh, the post challenge. Keep uh, an eye on my socials after the session, and uh, I'll be looking forward to your posters. But yeah. Alright, so let's do a little uh, set um, let's put you on the, the map and then we're gonna I'm gonna describe the saying and then we're gonna get we're gonna flush you also you'll notice we got new token art made uh, by yours truly because I'm making tokens now um, I'm gonna change the music because this is not the sewers music 
What did you just say? I said thank you, Vic. She oh, gave me. Thank you. There you are. Oh, and did you? Uh, move I did not. I added. Back? I just added it. I forgot to add it on you. Uh, sewer, sewer, sewer. There you are. A copy link. Let's change the music because this is not upbeat music that you're hearing in the sewers. Yes. Uh, I have a secret. <laughs> oh, you have a secret? <laughs> it's a secret. I can only tell you. Oh, share away. Um, yeah. All right, so if I quickly pull up my things. So yeah, you guys have made your ways down into the sewers, but uh, we're going to do a quick little bit of reconning as you guys are making your way down into the sewers. Uh, Pimera realizes she can just see hints of uh, water and a bit of the smell wafting up through the manhole. And uh, you can just see she just makes a face of displeasure and disgust. And you just see her just walk away. But time, you see, um, makes his way down the ladders. And he, um, if I just do this. And you guys also make your way down. Yeah, uh, when you make your way down Did to the post. Did you secret? I didn't, I'll check you. <laughs> okay. Sorry for interrupting your discussion. It's okay. Secret is he's unflushable. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's a shout Ruby. Uh, not Ruby, sorry, Sam. Sorry, I just called you my brother. Uh, if you want to share screen time, I'll, I'll put that on for everyone. Yeah, cool. So yeah, uh, what we do is, uh, we do this in the West Marches, but like we're also incorporating it in this uh, session because I think it'll be a lot more fun. We do uh, we do a thing where um, you can, like the PCs will uh, draw the map as like they're exploring the sewers and um, they'll gain XP at the end for like drawing the map. And um, this way, money. all money. <laughs> <laughs> but I did buy her candy, so if I get money in exchange, you know, I, I'm willing More to. More candy for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just watching me, like, it's very scuffed that I'm doing it this way. But while we're doing that, I'll describe the sewers. Are you sharing the screen? Because, like, it's not letting me. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do I do this? And then, okay, there we go. I've done it. I, I, I know what to do. All right. Oh. So I do this. And I do this and hope... No, that doesn't work. All right. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's going to be very scuffed, guys. I'm very sorry. Because I don't think it lets me... Yeah, it won't let me actually uh, share it, down. Sam. Yeah. No, it won't even let me like share it. Because, <laughs> like, oh. it, it needs the tab open. What if That's I do this? So okay, I think I got it. Oh, wait. Yep, I got it. Oh, b bollocks. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. There we go. And we're going to pop in Pimera's cube. Yep. Pimera is the man. There she is. Yay. There we go. Lo-fi, not my drawing skills, lo-fi boys drawing yeah. skills, so it's, if it's bad, <laughs> It's uh, in character. So... Yeah, exactly. I'm drawing with the umbrella, there's like a hidden like cap for a, the pen. Um, <laughs> that's what's happening. Mm. But yeah, uh, so yeah, like if I pull up the thing. So yeah, when you guys make your way down to the sewers, you the smell immediately assaults you. And like... As, as soon as, like, you just get, like, the hint of the smell, Time's waved it off immediately, and, like, the smell of lavender and orange just radiate from him and bring the, uh, the disgust that is, like, making you just a cringe. 
uh, from like the smell and just like just being down here as well like because like love white love i don't know if you can smell but you can the presence of the suit was just is enough to print you out but having this kind of like almost like warmth and like just comfort radiating off actually i imagine you would be able to smell because like you're you're a florist aren't you so like maybe yeah 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 it that makes sense part of my things yeah my specs mm. <laughs> So yeah, you would be able to. Well, after I write down your specs, Control actually. The sense of smell. Mm. Yeah. Um. And like, so yeah, like the but the sewers itself is all uh, dank and dark, and you can just see slime and just sludge all over the tiles, and like just leaking off the curved walls, and like pipes are just like overhanging uh, but, um, the tunnels, and like in like little uh, areas that are up to about like, waist height, and just like valves, and just just. You can imagine just uh, just machinations that are used by the plumbers down here are just like on the walls and just all over the place, just in front of you and around you. And you can see like there's also like the, the canals of the um of the sewers are just so murky and just sludgy green that you can't see uh, how deep they go. But they are about an inch um, lower than the 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 pavements of the uh, the canals. And there's a few bridges going oh, across wow. other places. And the bridges and the yeah, walls are all made of stone. Yeah? No, no, just sorry, sorry. Go on, go on. Um, and yeah, like, you also have, like, you can see some wooden uh, bridges as well here and there. Um, and just, like, clumps of uh, debris and just sewage clogging uh, up spaces here and there. And you can see in a few of these slots, there's, like, some smashed potion bottles um, where, like, a few, like, Little tiny exits are from like where other pipes around the place are like leading into this, uh, leading into the main canals. You can see these, um, like clusters of uh, broken shards of glass and like potions that like are varying colors just leaking into the water. And every now and then, like they give, uh, you get a smell of one of the potions just wafting up to you. That, but and you can also just see them bleeding into the sewers. And if I where are we? And yeah, like these like uh, these potions just smell sweet, odd, peculiar, and strange, and they just like waft in, and then just dis disappear as soon as they uh, um, get like overshadowed by the lavender and orange of the time cast. Um, yeah, and you can also hear just the slight grumbling and echo of something from over here. And we're gonna do flush, so I'm gonna do a thing if I can remember what to do. Could you all offer me a deck save? Okay. As you see, the waters begin to rise. Um, from from the side where you can hear the strange grumbling noises, as you can hear just a flushing noise, um, just Yo. echo through the chambers as like the waters just rise up. And then just kind of like create like a tidal wave that like just throw themselves towards you and the wall you guys are on. What was right. your uh, nineteen and twenty-two? I mean, we're right next to the ladder, Lodico and I, right? Yeah, you guys are actually able to. Yeah, like you guys are able to latch onto the ladder and hold yourselves uh, down. And let's see what <laughs> let's see what to time because like time has to roll as well. What about Shiki? Shiki will also have to roll. But she will have the same decks as he does. So I'm okay. just gonna... So the first one's time. And the second oh, one is Shiki. Wow. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I want to say Shiki. So you all, like, immediately, like, get on the lads. And Lonika, you're scampering up. Trying to get to the top as fast as you can. And Lofi Boy, he's kind of helping you up and just pushing you up as well as, as you uh, make your way. And, like, time is just able to latch on. And then just get above the water level as, like... It, would have um, like it would have been up to t uh low fiber your chin so oh. low nico would have been Ew. gone oh my god <laughs> oh, <no>. um, <laughs> but you can see shiki in the um is going towards it's actually just starts barking at the waves as it's coming towards her <laughs> bark, bark, bark! and then you just see her just get picked up by it and just like swung around oh and just give me a second as I can, as I do a thing. 
as you see her just like get swayed around and like bopped everywhere like as like the the waves are just like going around her. and like as soon as like the flushing noise stops you see that the waves drop and shiki's now on the other side of the um of that canal and then she like but well, she doesn't look to be harmed or anything and she just turns to you bark 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 oh she's okay but she is on her back but then she just jumps back oh, up no. and then just shakes all the water off her but you know she's not actually wet she just like it's almost like instinctual of her just shaking the water and i hate you when roll 20 does that thing where the token is just just too like weirdly sized like they can't see but there you are but and then her bell jingles as she uh shakes herself free and then time scampers off down and then just waits for you guys to get down. Well, that was, um, that was, that was bad timing, I think. Everyone okay? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Good. Yes, I'm fine. And um, Kaz, I can't control this. Um, you can't? Can you? Light that was already there. No worries, you can control the other one though, correct? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, this is some music. Trying to remember how to change his color. Uh, if you right click, got it. Yeah, you can hear as soon as like, the flushing stops, you can hear like these like scampering of like footsteps, wet footsteps against tiles. But you do see like this. I don't know if you'd actually see, do. You see this uh, Shabbaton over here because you um... if if it's in your range of sight. You don't? No worries. Nah. Also, yeah, I still can't yeah. touch. You can't? Okay. This one. That's I can only do the ones that I've added. Okay. This one oh, yeah, if you want to drag that one, uh, drag one down there for me. I'll pop it there. Thank you. Yeah, you see this one Shabbat and like, just being like, buffeted by the the, um, the flush. Oh, turns no, turns to you guys and realizing you're there and it jibbers and it jitters and then you see scamper away. There you go. Um, so, okay. uh, um, time looks in that direction. You see Shiki just like run, run in that general direction. As you hear more grumbling uh, noises from over here. Uh, we might want to move before that chimera gets right. here, I think. You were okay, saying that the chimera was. Gnawing at you or something. Oh, well, are you gonna sail, Nico? Uh, should we follow the ship at him? Uh, I, I think it's uh, it's better than just standing around for sure. Let, let's try that. And and do we go in a sneaky fashion, like like if Jacob and Pimer, uh, Jake, uh, what did I say? I meant <laughs> Rocky. I had my voice. Mo Yeah, if you want to roll stealth for me. Time seeing that you guys want to go for stealth, he will also go for stealth. Why did I go into spells to find stealth? What is it? <laughs> oh, wow, because it's magical, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, though, you, like... Uh, like you, you've gone into the habit of like being able to like sneak around and like stop your bells from jingling, um, and like you walk just at a pace that's slow enough to like move or slow enough to stop your bells from jingling, but like fast enough to like get somewhere in time in a timely manner. While Lofi boy, you're just clanging and like bashing into things as you're walking around. A few valves and like uh, bricks uh, that are, like are this large, you kind of just kick and like they just like create an a. Twang of a noise as uh, you kick, it. and then like time just turns to you when you do that. Uh, and when he does turn, you can hear like his uh, jacket kind of like ruffle in like the the haste he turns, but it's he kind of grabs it to like try and muffle it as fast as he can, and he just like pulls it to his side and then like uh, walks just a bit slowly, but he does also step here and then like there's um, stepping a few like puddles here and there and create a wet a little bit of um, a splash. Hey, Lonico, uh, do you want to get on my shoulders in case there's another flush? 
Uh, I can do, but what if you need to fight? Won't that not uh, help you? That's actually smart. So never mind. You know, there was uh, okay. some fishermen that I used to, I used to know who used to walk on stilts. He whisked time, uh, time's voice echoes in your or reverberates within your body, a lot of boy, and also echoes, and like you feel like within yourself, Lonico. Back in, uh, I think, uh, Kengala, they uh, used to fish. Oh, oh, I couldn't see. It was a uh, dead end. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm scratching up a map uh, on this bit of metal here. Um, I, Not I to wanted worry. to make sure. You want Shiki to go ahead? Uh, I look. Uh, I mean. I don't want Shiki to get hurt. She'll be fine. But... Okay, then yeah. And you just hear her, like you don't you hear like the like pitters and patters of her running away, but you don't see her feet like leave any traces in the water when she runs away. And she just keeps running and like she's gone for a while. Uh, so give me a minute, please. If I do this. Okay. All right, keep going. That scared me. Don't worry. <laughs> As a player, not level five boy. <laughs> like, mm, okay. Yeah, time follows uh, behind you guys. And she just stays a few tiles ahead of you. But when like there's like tangents, she does come back. And then she like just looks at you like almost as if like waiting for you to tell her which direction to go. Hmm. I guess I, I point towards the uh the bridge here. Thank you, Monico, for the lights, by the way. I can't turn around, so we just Mm-hmm. Oh, I also forgot to mention, like, your when you guys are walking through the waters, you can see like some of the you lows, you specifically can see some of the uh, the bricks, the spirits within the bricks, like just are uh, just like lingering and watching you guys walk by. And they're just like little white flames that just like slowly waft in the air. And they watch you guys, and then like one Goes towards Lofi and circles around him. And. Can I touch it? Yeah. As soon as you touch it, it gives the faintest glow of a vivid yellow. Mm. And then it. You feel it like kind of like climb into your uh, chassis. And you now have inspiration. And as that happens, Lo Nico, you also have a very similar encounter with another spirit that. Um, floats towards you and just kind of circles around you and then just like wafts around you and like it's just like boops into you and as it boops into you it also glows yellow and then you feel it just kind of latch itself onto one of your uh, latches onto your crystal flower hmm. and you uh you now have inspiration as well can are any of those potions nearby or in the water but yeah. in the water. Yeah, some are like, a, like, like they're in like these clusters of like debris. Okay. Am I close enough to like do a check on them without like going in and touching them? <laughs> <laughs> Just like from the side. You can. Rolf, um, yeah. You can see that like. And you get the smell of potions when, like, you just, like, hover over them. And, like, they glimmer and glitter when you, uh, go near them. And, like, there's, like, just, like... 
some of them like kind of uh, fume upwards and some of them like um just like have like formed little pools in the debris but like their colors are kind of like, have mixed into one another did you want to touch it you say no i don't want to touch it i was just wondering if i could tell like what, what po potions they were or like where mm -hmm. they might have come from Roll for me a Arcana check, I'll say. Can I? Do I want to use inspiration? Nah. <laughs> I, I Seven. don't know shit about that. Yeah, shit. you you don't have the biggest of clues, but when you um. When you are looking at it, you see time just like is watching you investigate it. And then just he kind of squats down and then asks, what, what, what are you doing? Oh, I was just wondering where all these potions came from. And what they were hmm. doing down here. I've never seen so many in one place like this before. Probably the wizard school. Most likely Do just hmm, students making things or the guilds maybe having apprentices making potions and then they just fail them or make some that aren't they're not allowed to make and then just toss them in uh, into the into the waters and then flush them down the toilets maybe. It's not the uh, the best way to dispose of them. It's uh it creates more problems than than we think. And as you like continue walking and um be involved in that conversation, you can see this. Let's see, can you see? Yeah, you can see like a Shabbaton over here, and one that's like um oh. trying to balance across a pipe. In front of you. Oh. Uh, what's the emotional state of the of the Shabbat? Does it look like aggressive or the one on the left looks like it's just trying to run, like it's just like running in just uh, the direction it's walking in or running in. Um, this one here, yeah, and the one teetering off the pipe, that one is like just trying to get across and like is just trying to balance itself. But when it sees you. All its eyes turn to you. You have one. You have a reaction before uh, before you're putting oh, in the shift. Oh dang! Um, 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 well, the first thing would be to grab my um, uh, umbrella and and hit the pipe. <laughs> Roll strength. Twenty-one. Oh! <laughs> Dang! So you got twenty-one. So that was a fairly good thwack. You detaching your umbrella into into a sword and shield. You sm smack it, or you slash at the pipe just overhead, and as like you slash. You cleave it in half. Your blade just like you. You can see the blade glitch, and um, and just like be like, I wouldn't know the word would be for it. It would um, yeah, it just glitches and like it kind of like just animates as it cuts into the pipe, and you water begins gushing out of that. Some of the water is dirty. Some of it has stuff in there. Um. And that's just gushing out, and like the pipe looks like it's just about to like collapse uh, from the strength of your slash. And the Shabbaton that's balancing panics, um, and in that panic, it just like runs across the pipe. And then just before the pipe falls and like it gets cut in half, it jumps off and gets to the other side. 
and this pipe is now bust. So I'm just gonna put like an X like this to say that th that pipe is so that you guys know that that pipe is um, non-existent. If I just do this, yeah, yeah, that pipe's cut in half, and like the uh, area around uh, you is just like water. It is like a bit slipperier. So I'm gonna actually like consider that difficult terrain just slightly as well. So if you wanna slightly difficult terrain. Yeah. <laughs> just just for a turn as the water is pooling. Would you want to roll uh initiative for me? Yeah. And I'll get some combat music going. Oh, almost forgot to click on my character. <laughs> no worries. Oh my god, did we roll the exact same thing? <laughs> Oh wow, that's so funny. Oh, that's not that. We rolled dexterity, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing, to be fair. Is it? Um, yeah, dexterity is the same as initiative. Oh, it is. And I rolled it twice the same thing. No worries. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put uh, the combat music on. So if I do this, music, clear, and play. Let's do this, ascending, no, no, sorry, ascending, descending. This Shabbat and go first. So as it jumps off the pipe, the one in front of you just like grabs like at the wall and like you see just pull um a chunk out of the, one of the bricks and turns it into a um into a um bit of ammo for its sling and it fires uh, at you uh, low low pie boy mm -hmm. does 19 hit uh my ac is 20 so no <laughs> hey, the the brick just like you you just sidestep it and as the brick, as you sidestep, the brick just like flies and like smashes into this wall here, and then just kind of creates a little uh, indent in um, in that pavement there where the brick landed. And it, upon landing, it rushes backwards, and then it just gibbers as it's running backwards. And as it's running backwards, you can see the around the corner, or you can hear around the corner, uh, more gibbering and jabbering. As a, a yokai jumps out from over the sling shaban, that's not how you do that. And then it just jumps over all the uh, the work pipes and just goes to sm uh, try and attack you with uh, with its club. All through the water and everything. Yeah. Crazy. But it's just begin as like it just touches the water, it just begins to start slipping, and like with all that momentum it's bringing with it, it just kind of like just falls into the water and then just quickly picks itself back up and ready and just tries to hold itself in a very weak guard. Alright, um, honestly, seeing how, like, I was actually ready not to be, uh, aggressive with it, uh, I think Lo-Fi Bo- Oh, sorry, I'm not- I'm still thinking we were out of combat, Ralt, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the, the other yokai will react. Um, you can't see it, but Lonicon might just be able to see it. Just around the corner, a Shaban comes running, and then just goes to b try to bonk time over the head. But time turns just just in time, and also like just gives a little um, like a swerve, and then just kind of pushes it to the side as it tries to uh, as it tries to, like swing at um, at the at the man. I was trying to think what can I call him. <laughs> This yokai is sees it like this, like the canal noise, so it tries stepping on the debris and tries making oh, wow. its way across. And it does it like it's kind of, it kind it does struggle and get its foot stuck in some of the poo and the glass, but you see it doesn't look like it's super bothered. And as it like gets to the side, it just like kind of pick, uh, launches itself out of the debris and then tries to attack at you, low Nico. Does twelve hit? No. No. It just doesn't jump high enough and then just kind of falls back into the sludge and just begins to start sinking. Yeah. As you can then hear a crunching noise coming from over here. From over where? 
need over, to see the... Over here. Oh, okay, okay. It was too zoomed in. No worries. It is now Lone Eco, your turn. <clears throat> I don't want to use up my very few spell slots. So... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm gonna try and use my rapier. <laughs> Go ahead. What did you get? Uh, 18. 18. Well, just give me a second. 18. On the one that's in the, the sinking. Yeah, the one in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> that one hits. Yay. I got a three damage. <laughs> you just like see him like jump and that's like he's like just falling through the air in front of you. You just give him a poke and I kind of like that's what like kind of like disgruntles him and forces him to like kind of like stop his attack mid in, in the air and then just drops him and you kind of like, just like redirect him by bringing uh, a little in the, with a the poke you kind of like point downwards with the poke and bring him down and he takes three damage anything else yeah can i give a bardic inspiration to time <laughs> you can yay what does that look like um it's just like i guess it looks like a little a little spirit i suppose mm -hmm. you just create a jingle and like you see notes uh, form from the jingles, and then they turn into a tiny ball of fire, similar to the the uh, the ones I gave you inspiration earlier. And it with it looks like you can see it just slightly looks like a bit of a it looks like a tiny fox face, and you just see it like just like swim through the air, and then as soon as it goes towards time, you see it just like um, go to like hold it. Thank you, child. And then you just like, um, you just see him put it in his left hand. He holds the inspiration. He holds it. Anything else? And that's it. Yeah, no. I'm just going to chill out with Shiki. <laughs> mm. When... <laughs> when you, that time is going to, um, slash at the Shaban that came towards him. Dealing 27. But only four damage. Um, you just seem like kind of like hold, with the the um, the body inspiration in hand. You seem kind of crush it, and like, it gives a jingle when he crushes it, and like it just forms around his sword. And now his uh, katana is just wreathed in your body inspiration fire. And you can see like a fire fox just <laughs> a fox of fire just, <laughs> just like running up and down the blade. And then he just goes for, uh, just a, as like in, with that side to me, he just goes for a slash. And um, Shiki then also goes for a slash with one of Time's katanas in her mouth, which she had in her mouth from earlier. Because she always has one of his uh, katanas in her mouth. And yeah. stunning. Thank you. You just see her like, <laughs> see you stabbing this one. She just is like ready to like get it in within a range. She kind of jumps as well and then gives a slash on it. And create a uh, downward slash. You see that uh, that Shaban get cleaved in half, not all the way down, not all the way down, but just down, splitting from um, head to uh, diaphragm, and you can see where it splits in half, just white fire bursts out. But the Shaban then kind of just like shrieks and just gibbers in a very aggressive tone, as like you see its ma one mouth, one of its mouths from the split opens the other doesn't and you see like it's almost like as if like that that split has now made two mouths form out of this one shaban here but time doesn't do anything other than that uh lofa what your turn all right so with all the chaos happening and wanting to just be curious about things and seeing that they're attacking i will enter rage go ahead uh, what do your rage look like well, it's so basically. Um, can I roll uh, on the wild 
magic table to see. Oh, you can. Magic yes, table. yes, you can. <laughs> to describe like what leads to that so it's an 80 all right 80. we still need to show that table <laughs> uh one day we'll show it one day <laughs> all right so on an 80 i get uh, i'll copy it in the roll 20 thing Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. So, whenever I take a bonus action while in rage, I take damage equal to my hit dice. So, I guess what would happen here is that all of my flowers would, like, just enter back in my body and I would have just, like, one flower um, left, probably, mm -hmm. like, on my arm. And I feel this, like, the wild magic surge inside of me kind of, like, really feel super uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And, like, almost like, like, if Lofibo could feel drunk, <laughs> <laughs> I guess this would be the feeling that, like, if I do too many actions, like, it will really hurt. And, like, I feel really unstable. Mm -hmm. And so that's, yeah, that's what would happen. And actually, since all the flowers would be away, like gone, like retracted inside my body, like half of Lofi Blue's face would look kind of like maybe fallen off or you'd see more of the roots of the flowers instead, the face. And, and yeah, you'd see that like his body's actually pretty destroyed. Mm. And on that note, I will <laughs> uh, just uh, angrily slash at the yokai right in front of me. That hits. Alright. Oh shit. When so... you do go into your wild magic um, surge, you low you can see in like portions of his chaser you can see a glow a blue glow glimmer from within and the glitching of his umbrella and his sword become very erratic more so erratic than normal and even shimmer um into different colors as, as this happens and with that one slash you kind of feel you can see the glitching in the air as it cuts uh, the Shaban, and when it pierces into the Shaban, you can see like it, it does a similar thing to like what um, Shiki did, and it cuts the uh, Shaban uh, down through the shoulder up to the middle of the chest, and you can see it just kind of splits. And although the arm holding the club slouches, it still looks like it's moving that arm, and like it just sh shrieks at your direction. You can kind of hear the faintest. Of howls from within the shake, uh, within the um, the shriek. All of the in the past, I used to kind of feel uncomfortable with that, but this time I'm like staring him down in one of his random eyes. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, well, actually, since this is the first time, I think Lofi Boy would still try bonus action because. Uh, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted, yeah, <laughs> so I would try to, uh, bash him with my shield as he's shrieking, like, in his mouth, like, to shut mm -hmm. him up. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that requires me to yeah. do a strength roll. It would be a hit dice roll, I believe, with minimalist. Uh, yes, of yeah. course. Uh, that's a 1d12. For the hit dice, but also, um, but I mean, the, for the shield bash, I think it's a strength uh, thing. Strength sick, or right. if I do, right, let me see if you uh... Uh, is that the is that the shield bash one? I can't remember if that was. And the shield bash is... I can use a bonus action to... Do that... Uh, I 
I need to push it back by five feet if it fails. I got five, so I assume it fails anyway. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, like if I just mm. roll a one, it would. Uh, when you. Get some roll for it. You don't need to roll, uh, surely. Oh, uh, okay. Well. Because if it was if it was a save, I'll, I'll check in a second. But yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it fails. <laughs> so like with that um, with that shield batch, you see your shield, the glitching of on your shield, that kind of surges, and in that surge, you feel it kind of like lacerate at you, uh, through the air. But as it does, it also pushes the shabatan back by five feet, and you see it, like just get buffered and like it kind of like the arm that's been cut off kind of swings wildly as if there's not much control in it. Interesting. And like if Ulfabro could have like a sly smile, he would have one. Hmm. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Thank you. No worries. So I'm not sure if you're gonna see what happens next, but you can hear the footsteps and also um, what sounds like armor. So armor similar to Times armor, uh, splint armor, just kind of like. M jangle as it moves within range. And tell me if you can see something over here. I can't see anything over there no, personally. My light is not up there. No worries. Oh, just out of range, yeah. I think I can only move with his bonus actions. Hmm. But yeah, so yeah, nothing. Uh, you don't uh, hear or see anything. It is now their turn to attack again. So the one that's attacking time is going to go for a swing again with its mace. And it hits. And as like time slashes down to one, it kind of like pulls up its hand and just bonks him on the knee. And you see time's knee kind of buckle when that happens. If I... Then do the one that's going to attack you. Um, Love where he comes charging towards you. However, once again, just swinging wildly. And you see the tear in its arm grow larger. And its arm hanging lower from that. While you can't see anymore because it's out of range. You see just a, a, a green brick from uh, the sewers come flying towards you. But you are also able to dodge this one. And it actually just uh, hits the back of the Shabbaton that uh, is in front. And you just see like this rock pierce through the Shabbaton. And kind of like just like stop just before uh, it pierces all the way through. And you can see a green stone now uh, piercing through this one Shabbaton. And this one's going to try... This one actually you can't because the pipe's bust. So it's actually going to just try and jump across. It does. And in that jump, it's going to try and like swing down on you. Oh, wow. However, missing wildly. And it just just gets into range. But like it slips on the... Um, on the water and the kind of like, is latching on. Which, what, what, sorry? So it's not actually moving away from you when it's uh, no. latching on. No, okay. No, this one is trying to like pull itself up to you. It's like it fell off the, um, the like this one like jumped off from the other side towards you, and then when it like tried to land, it couldn't exactly ma uh, land it, so it just slips and like is now latching onto the pavement at your feet. I see. The one in the uh, sludge is going to try and pull itself out and then go for attack on you, low. Seventeen hit. Yeah. You also get a bonk in the in the knees as um as the Shabbat's mace just like thwacks into you. If you could take seven damage. It is now your turn. Oh boy. Um I'm going to move my lights a little bit. I 
think. Just uh, time needs that one. Well, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you need it to see time. Time doesn't need to see, but I need to see time. Yes. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just try and stab this sword again. Go ahead. Um... That hits. God dang. Oh, that's better. I got a fire. That is. That's it. You actually, when you puncture this one, you kind of like, you can hear it like deflating. As uh, as you just pierce through it, and you can see white fire surging out, and as you pull away, you can just see it just like deflate into a like like a balloon, and it just like begins to fall and like just turn into a flat deflated shabatan that just immediately combusts into the white fire that like glitches, and within the um, the pool of like because uh, it was standing one in a pool of po um, of a discarded potion, you see the potion itself begin to glitch as well. And I'm gonna ask you to not roll something. I'm gonna do a little, a little something myself. Oh, is it like a chemical reaction? That's or well, chemical, so kind of like magical reaction happening. I'd let both use roll um, intelligence or arcana. To, uh, intelligence or arcana to see if you can deduce what's just happened or what's happening lo you're you've never you you you're very new to the world so you don't you don't really know what's uh i ain't book smart <laughs> yeah exactly you ain't you don't know what to expect Okay. And then. So scared. So many dice. <laughs> Don't worry. I rely purely on instinct to know what I'm doing. <laughs> when the Shabbat bursts, you can see like. It just becomes like a, a sudden burst of fireworks. As like. So pretty. It explodes. And like in these bursts of fireworks, you can see that like you don't see any specific shapes or anything. You just see them as like just flare up. And as they're flaring up, you feel um, you feel somewhat braver, somewhat more confident. But it's uh, it's only fleeting. You've gained one hit point from that. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Anything else? Um, no. No. Oh my god! So basically, Nico inhales fireworks. And <laughs> yeah, and she's got one health. <laughs> Soon, I will consume the fire itself. Mm. <laughs> when? Actually, yeah, that's my yeah. Give me a second. I need to do something. Um, but yeah. Anything else, Lonico? Sorry. Uh, no, because I used my bonus action to move my lights around. Mm, no worries. Time is upon game bonked. You see him kind of like when he buckles, he just like lowers himself, and then goes for a slash at the knees of this Shabbat in there. Just a tick tip for tack. The knee fight. Mm. <laughs> Dealing ten, and I realized I gave, I healed the Shabbat by accident when I was trying to take away its health. <laughs> <laughs> so it was four. Oh, that wasn't meant to be the case. So I'll add uh, maths, man. I, I, I'm not good at it. No more maths. There we are. Yeah. So like when he slashes at the sh uh, Shaban, he you see that well you you can just about see this its legs get cleaved off, 
and then just like topple over in front of t uh, time and just like erupt into like white fire that like blow over him and then just swirl around him for a second but the shabatan then kind of like just like falls to the ground and is just a bit shorter now with stomps for legs and you see time just like turn around from you and then run in between your legs and then rush towards time and it goes for a slash Dealing the final blow as this Shabbat and then erupts into uh, fire. And you just see around that corner, it's just like a bunch of like, you barely can see through all the fire and like the white, just like the light that comes out of there for a second. I'll actually, uh, with that flash, I'll do this. So you just like, it's a, a huge eruption of fire. Whoa. You just get that for a brief moment. What's that over there? <laughs> and with that like sudden flash you can just see in the corners of your eyes what look like guards wearing earthy green and white armor but their faces look extremely pale and you can see there's there was just a glimmer of green off of their faces in weird geometric and I would say non-Euclidean, maybe, would be the word. Shapes. Non-what? Non-Euclidean. That, 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 <laughs> that might not be the word. I don't know what that word means, cuz. Dang. Non-Euclidean. Dang, son. Let me... Any geometry that is not the same as Euclid... What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> If they got what, nice, well, you said their faces were pale. Yeah, their faces are like pale, bone white, even, you could say. Um, uh, they like, white. Were they like elves, or like... Like only skin and bones? Roll perception. <laughs> white. Roll perception for me. <laughs> I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> While I try to get the description... I can't get any descriptions for non-Euclidean, it's fucking useless. Um... <laughs> But just like strange formations of shapes. Mm. Lofi, well, you don't have the time to concentrate on them, so you don't. Uh, you're too focused on the shaman in front of you. Lo, yeah. you. With that 14, you get just like. With that, that slight flash, you can see that these are. They are very gaunt. Sallow would be the word I don't know. Like very like sunken in. The skin is like if there was skin, it's very it like basically like is like latched to the bone almost, is the way I would describe yeah, that. Like, sickly yeah. Like they're sucking on a lemon but permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Oh, it's not. I mean, it's time's turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As that happens, time comes around the corner, and then just like you know, you see him just like stare down this corner here, and Shiki comes running around as well. Love boy, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna finish off uh, the one in front of me with uh, the swordy sword. Go ahead. That hits. Wait, no, wait. Alright. It uh, does hit, yeah. Uh, Alright. All right. I'm aiming for the gap, basically, that, mm -hmm. like, um, so I'm trying to just finish it, like, cutting through that. Yeah. Oof. As you... Your position is spot on, and you just cleave this shaban in half, continuing your downward slash on it. And as you pull away from that slash, you... Would you like to carry the damage over? I would love to. <laughs> it's been like, kind of like looking behind my back, 
like basically aim at the fingers that mm. it's like latching onto the edge. Yeah, like you in one like swoop movement. Yeah, no, yeah, you 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 just sweep down and like as you you hear your braids your blade scratch against the stone and create a heavy deep gash, and you can see where like Shibatan fingers are were. They have turned into w- tiny white fires as you hear a splash as the Shaban is in the water. Alright. Um, I may not do anything else more. Uh, I will actually... You know what? Carefully walking uh, across this... Uh, that does reduce my movement when I do... When I walk in difficult terrain, correct? Was what, what, what? It's hard. It's double movement. It's double movement. So this is 20 feet to move here. And then I think I have 10 feet left. Yes, I will do the 10 extra feet to... Aha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like ready to fight. Like, you don't mess with me anymore. Mm-hmm. All right. Actually, you know what? Frick it. I'm going to, like... Do a bonus action. Go ahead. And try to shove it. And roll a hit dice for me as well. Yes. Okay. You only need to right. do. So basically with the momentum of running, I just try to shove it like like take like I guess the glowing inside of the magical surge resisting uh my bonus action and damaging me. I, I still try to push through and shove it, like, just straight ahead. Mm. Give me a second. Yeah, as you... Oh, you were shield bashing it, was you? Were you sorry? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, basically... It's a bonus action to try to shove a creature. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's a shield master thing. Go ahead, roll, uh... Roll strength to see if you can push it. No! Oh wait, can I use inspiration? You can. That would be an extra... D4, is it? D6, I think. Bardic inspiration is D6. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was a bardic inspiration or inspiration from chat. Oh, it was bardic inspiration. You do have inspiration from chat as well. Uh, Oh no, you don't. You only... only, No, no, you have inspiration from chat. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, roll a d- uh, roll a strength check again. Just- oh, because that would be advantage instead? No, no, it would be normal. Yeah, that would be advantage, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. You push it. Yay! As, like, you just rush towards it, you see that, like, a wave of yellow bursts off of you from, uh, your shield. As, like, your shield just, like, surges again. And you get a few lacerations, and you can feel like your chase, you get cut in, in and nicked in places and scratched up. But you don't mind. You push through, and like with that like yellow a wave as well, it bursts off you. You um, you almost get like a speed boost even. And then just like rush into this one Shaban, and like you see him just get like knocked off the edge. And then you just like see him get plunged into the depths of the, the water as well. That's what you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> mhm. Just give me a second. All these dice are scaring the heck out of me. Like, Good. There's so many dice like rolling around all the time. Good. Like, I'm so scared. Like, Wolfpack was fine, but me as a player? Nah. <laughs> you can hear... I'm scared on both fronts. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear footsteps from right across you, and you can see the waters here are, like, moving. As if something oh, no. that isn't just the Shaban having been pushed into the water. Oh, no. I mean, Lo, you, you can, Lo, you can hear the pitter patter of something walking across stone, across from you. Good. As can is that in your range of sight now? 
I could just about see that, yeah. <laughs> I'll pull it. I'll pull it into range so you I can mean, see. I mean, I low probably can because she's around the corner, but it is in my field of vision. The light, so time yeah. could possibly see it. Yeah. If it's around the you can just about see out of the corner. You see the glimmer of uh, of green as you see a what looks like a skull with a crystal. Um, a skull that's been that's got a that has a, a crystal sorry that has a skull inside of it on top of a suit of uh, guard armor in an earthly green color and you can see this roll roll insight me yes I'm glad. Uh, actually, no, they're really cool by them. They're, they're, they're transparent, so you can just about like they can actually see through tokens. I can I can tell, but like you you guys oh, can't. Shit, yeah, the tokens that's yeah. cool. Yeah. That is neat. Just the crystal bits here. Um, yeah. You can see that their armor is very similar to Times, only like theirs is white um, and green in places. And this one is that's just crossed the bridge is walking towards you guys, and uh, you can see one just just or you can hear the steps of one behind it. With instead of the crystal, uh, the skull growing inside the crystal, this skull has a crystal that's been growing out of it. And this the the one in the back is holding a Nagin uh, Naginata, and the one in front is holding a katana. Um, but as soon as like you see those um, within range. Low, uh, low fi boy, you hear something burst out of the water, just out of your field of vision, because of how dark it is in here. But you feel water splash across you as you see something. You hear something heavy and large burst out of the water. Is if I do this, give me a second. I'm so excited to die. <laughs> As you hear something heavy burst out of the water, and then just you hear a crunch and as and something as if like something is grinding stone and crushing um, metal and glass all at once. Something heavy and wet just in um, on the other side just le leap out, and then slink back very heavily in, back into the water and creating a splash sound effect. Oh, not a sound effect, sorry, a splash noise. I'm so fucking dumb sometimes, I swear. Splash sound effect. I love it. Splash. <laughs> and in that moment of, like, sudden, like... It's it's gone just as fast as that. It is the Shepatton's turn. <laughs> is is what like I, I imagine for the splash and yeah it's a it's a nasty splash it's not just it's not clean water is it it's not <laughs> it is now um the shabbat's turn and the one that's like had his fingers cut off is like low you can just see you can just about you can see something splashing out of the water over here, or here, something splashing out of the water out over here, as it tries to climb its way back up, struggling to do so. And you can just hear like it's something slipping and against a stone and splash back into the water. And the one that you pushed in is also going to try and climb up as well, um, Lo-Fi Boy. Just to just as much disastrous effects and like splashes back into it. Like it looks like it's about to grip back on, but you kind of just like kick its foot and it falls back in. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I would do that. But yeah, low your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna summon another dancing light because I can have four. Go ahead. You um, just summon it as soon as like this one, like <laughs> a fire just swirls into action with the um hum of a note uh from your shabbat and um. It just you see this one shaman like gets splashed back into the water. I don't mean to put it on his face, but <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I wanted this one to follow Lo Fi Boy, so can Oh. Can you put it a bit in front? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's my bonus action. <laughs> uh, if I accidentally hit something, no, I didn't. That's fine. It's just you doing. This. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I accidentally clicked something. Um, what do I want to do? I'm gonna shout and be like, well, shout-ish and be like, Mister Lo-Fi Boy, please don't go too far. <laughs> There's some weird crystal guards around here. Please don't. Please come back. <laughs> On my way. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll come and try and stab this one <laughs> while he's down. Go ahead. <laughs> You'd have advantage, I'd say. <laughs> Just running really over. Please come back, Mr. No Fly Boy. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> you're just like panicking and like. <laughs> Sorry, go on. I was gonna ask if I could use my inspiration, but that's just advantage anyway, isn't it? So it is. So I would just cancel it out. So yeah, no, no uh, not this one, time. Not but this time. yeah, you just like run over, and as like, as like the water is just like that is in that area, it's just about to like, um fall into the uh, the canals, you just slip over what the last few dregs and just like, panic as you're about to like stab this one uh, yokai and like fall onto you, like not onto your blade, but like fall as you're like trying to like stab and yeah. as you hit the ground, you almost like knock your blade out of your hand. But just before like it like is out of reach, you quickly just snatch it and like are holding it shaking as you're on the floor um, of the... Um, on the floors of the, uh, the sewers. Cool. <laughs> Anything else? Um, no. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I don't actually. How much of my movement was that? Is it it's still double no. to where I am 50. now? No, no, no uh, it's no longer in uh, difficult terrain, so you would be able to move okay. here. I'll I'll stand up then. Hmm. <laughs> you see <laughs> time. <laughs> Time comes rushing uh, to you, and like he does, like look like he's about to try and help you, but you get yourself up, and he just kind of like uh, gives you a thumbs up. We should probably be going. Um, and then Shiki goes to attack. You just see Shiki run uh, around the corner and then try to attack at this one guard. But as she goes to swing. She kind of like just. It's just a bit too close to the wall, and kind of like just like. It's like when like a dog like gets stuck, like it doesn't know how long the bar is, and then just like, Charles. That's what's just like kind of happened. He didn't realize like the wall was this. So when he goes to slash, he just she just smacks it into the stone wall, and then kind of jolts backwards. Um. And you can hear the clang. Oh no. <laughs> okay. That time saying, oh, no. Yeah, that was time. Yeah. <laughs> when he came over, can I give him a little thumbs up? <laughs> he just gives you a nod. Give me a second. He taps you on the uh, on the shoulders, and then you feel uh, you oh see <laughs> you see um a dog uh like form out of his like a tiny little shiki that is just smoke and um that just smoke and steam forms uh just on top of his palm and then just walks over to you and then you see it just kind of run down your body and then you just see these tiny like or not tiny sorry you see these like paws kind of like gr like the dogs turn into uh, or the dog turn into uh, a set of paws that like latch onto your feet and kind of like Cause you to just begin to like start rising slowly up, uh, so you match his eye, uh, his eye height. Oh. <laughs> Come, let's go. She's like, okay. <laughs> All right. You, you get to that side and you point to the other side, 
I'll, I'll be I'll stop anything that comes around here okay. and I'll get I'll make sure little Foy boy gets across as well oh thank you I feel like she's like even if she doesn't have even if her balance is fine she's doing that thing where she's like putting her arms out and yeah just like <laughs> wobbling mm, she wibble and she wobble She's like, I've never been this tall before. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Love, what were you so, Oh, did, uh, just, I was reading as part of the spells, uh, thing, it says, um, that, uh, you can use your action to move the target, which oh. must remain within the spells range, so... I don't know Sweet. if he wanted to move. Oh yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, he, he actually, when he turns around, he kind of gives you a nudge. A gentle little push, and like, you just like, begin to float. To the <laughs> other side. Just drifting over this fucking ship and I failed to stab in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she'd be holding onto like, her rapier and her chamois and just like, mm. ah. I'd say time would, uh, I don't know if time actually gets access to another... Another chance to attack. What the fuck's power search? Give me a second. Mm -hmm, no worries. Sorry, I don't, like I, I, it's been a while since I've looked at time sheet. I don't remember what he did. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'd, I'd have him actually do an attack. Then yeah, like he'd get um, when um after he's nudged you across and he's keeping an eye on this uh, pathway, he turns towards and then goes towards the shaman and just stabs at the water. Which says it gives a sweeping slash on the water. Dealing. Seven as like the waters where... Oh, I was wondering, why is it like not, not doing damage? Because <laughs> your, your, your thing's there. <laughs> where uh, time slashes, you just see a eruption of white fire. Um... That like kind of causes the entire water to glimmer and glitch even. And you can see, like it begins to look clear almost for like the briefest of moments if I do this. Causing you guys to actually see something. Give me a second. Oh, there's a double <sighs> scene. That is scary. That's a big thing. Also, he's floating me to... I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> but in like that, like... When the waters, like, glitch and become clear, you can just see, like, yeah, this shabana erupts. And you could see down at the bottom, and, like, the canals look like they go very deep. And you could see at the base of the canals, you can see what looks like coral... And um and plant life growing underneath. Love Fire Boy, your turn. Alright. Um uh... Okay. Uh you know what? Wait, how long is this uh this ledge here? Fifteen feet? Which ledge? Oh no, it's ten feet. I'll say which one which one to ping it? Oh, sorry, sorry. Just <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's ten feet. Yeah. Um, it, it is possible to jump across it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I will do is just stare back at the the Shabbaton that tried to get up earlier and like swing at him. Mhm. Mm uh, so take this. He takes it. Deal your damage. Eight. Oh shit, yo. You... The same effect actually happens. When you slash at this Shabbaton, the water bursts and glimmers white again. And you can... You just see... If I do this... You just see a flash of, like, the uh, floor underneath and that creature again that's here. And you can see... You get a better look at it this time. You can see it's eating something. And you can see... Oh shit, well, it didn't die. I did the wrong thing. Killed the <laughs> I killed the light, yeah. <laughs> Kill the lights. Oh, yeah. What's the arc, uh, the arc thing that I was seeing? Here? Uh, like around here. Oh, that's like it. An arc. 
That looks like a gate. That was a gate. A gate? Yeah. No, I'm like here, right? Oh, oh, those are like little, like tiny, like canals that like um, had like smaller pipes uh... leading, like these lead their pipes on the inside of the walls that lead out through those. And like you saw a few so, more of those, but even smaller ones like died around the place, but it's not on. They aren't visible on that. Those are just like the bigger ones. But basically, they, do they? Does the water go across the the little like uh, thing no, no. here? These are like little tinier canals that like kind of push water through. So you would actually be able to like just step uh, over those. I see. I understand. Okay. Cool. But yeah. So um, then I would take a few steps back. Uh, want to make sure yeah that would be oh sorry because i want to make it here that's 15 feet so mm. i can maybe move back five feet uh 20 five this and you know okay i can only move back like five feet to try to kind of get some kind of running and i'm going to use now the the bardic inspiration for this run jump thing i don't think you had any sorry but didn't Lone Nico give me one, though? Did, did Lone Nico give one? Oh, sorry, if, if she did, I that's on me, I forgot. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, it could have been. I'm sorry, I misremembered. I'm sorry. sorry. I gave one to time, because you yeah. had yeah. other inspiration. No worries. And I haven't given any since, because I've been moving my lights around instead. Which mm. has been super useful, and we would be dead by now without that, so thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm just going to go for it. Um, go ahead. Roll a dexterity or athletics or acrobatics for me. Okay, I'm gonna go athletics. Nope. Right. You <laughs> go to make a running jump, <laughs> slipping immediately as soon as you're about to leap. But you do launch, you get some airtime. You are able to launch yourself across this tile. And you <laughs> feel that like you're about to make it, you're ready to make it. You're about to reach the end. As soon as you get within range, though, you notice that you've, you're falling at an alarming rate. A rate that like isn't propelling you enough to get to the other side. And you just touch the, uh, the pavement on the other side. But as soon as you touch it, your body gets plunged into the depths of the water. Oh, no. And you can feel your body get soaked and it's filling with the sewage water. As you uh, feel something within the water around here is like disturbing the water enough to buff it some water onto you and you are um just like latched on to this uh this bit here all right um good thing i don't need to breathe uh, hmm. but i guess underwater that would sound more like i don't know oh you're you're not you aren't Actually, you would be underwater, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, your hand is above the water, but your body is under. Alright. Good thing my powers are jacked as well. Mm. Anything else? Uh, I wish. No, I mean, <laughs> like... Um, that's it, like... Unless I can, like, that you allow me to just take out the crowbar that I have in my inventory. Um, I'll try to use that later to try to climb back up. I'll let you pull out your crowbar. Okay. It is now the Crystal Guard's turn to attack, and they're going to start trying to attack Shiki. Oh, sorry, it would be two-handed. Doesn't read. It only adds plus one anyway, so it doesn't... Shiki's able to just, like, kind of, like, just run in between its legs, and you hear, like, the sword slash against... Sto clang against stone as uh, the... As when it went to attack Shiki and Shiki ran. You can hear Shiki's bell jingle as she do uh, dodges that one. And the one behind is also going to try and attack, um, attack Shiki. And as that one tries to attack Shiki, uh, Shiki uh, parries. And you can you guys can't see it, but Shiki is just like, has caught the blade with ease. And is just like about to like, Yo. trying to toss. Like it has caught like, um, the Nag uh, Nag Naginatas have like a fork in them almost. And she's like caught uh, using times katana. She's caught um, caught that fork and is trying to like disarm the crystal guard. And now it's whatever's in the water's turn. <laughs> Don't say it like that. 
you feel something heavy push past you and buff it into your body but it doesn't do anything to you interesting and you can just hear it leap out of the water again and create another crunching stone um, another bite of crunching stone and then suddenly a voice from over here with a mouth full of what you can assume are rocks as you hear them uh, jumbling about in its mouth if I find shiny rock men crunch and crunch breaking one's teeth but to the other men go splat and squish making jelly and juice that swim down to one's stomach <laughs> More come into one's tubes. Such interesting smells. Ooh, the smelly one comes back too. And then another crunch. As it drops back into the water. What? <laughs> what is it? Did just Lofi hear that or? You heard his voice it? echo through the chambers. Okay, please eat the crystal, man. <laughs> but, but apparently we smell interesting. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> pull, a, pull, a, pull a Bulbo Baggins. I don't know. Worms. <laughs> <laughs> and someone has redeemed a putrid smell. So let's, uh, oh, no. let's get that uh, layer action going. Honestly, I'm already in sewers. How much? <laughs> Everyone roll a con save for me. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Um, yes. Con, 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 con. Right. Or who rolled below 13? None of you. Time also rolled. You, she doesn't need to roll. Um, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> only flush would she need to roll. But with um, as you like are like fighting, you just this strange s smell that is both extremely disgusting, but like curiously intriguing is what I would describe it. You you can't pinpoint what this weird smell is. <laughs> yeah, the music was like really like fucking badass. I'm like, it's just I've described a fucking stink. <laughs> just, you know, it's smells yeah. so fucking bad. It is. It's awful. And like, it's nauseating as it just like washes, um, washes over you all. And like, it just comes like wafting through. But like, you all have the urge to suddenly like kind of like hold your breath and like just, even with that, you do cringe at the smell, and just like this. And like it even permeates into the water, like that's how you can feel it, Lo-Fi Boy. Yeah. But as like as fast as it comes, it leaves, and you just can't. You feel like you can breathe again. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It is now the Shaban's turns, so we're gonna see where they are. There's no more Shaban's around, you guys. So like you just hear like things running around. Scary. But you don't, you can't see anything. Low, it's your turn. As you are levitating still. Um, I'm just gonna be like, Mr. Time, do you know the way out of here? Which way? Just keep running and uh, just hope it doesn't find you. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, I'm here. It's okay. I'll, I'll hold it off if I have to. I'm gonna be like, okay, well, down here seems to be a dead end so hmm. you know from when it flashed like i think i think i just saw lo-fi boy jump over there so maybe like, like if you go 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 to your go to your left wait is it your left or my right he turns around quickly <laughs> your left go he go go to your go your left and like i'll meet you in a second i promise you can you can still levitate um just just think that you're Think like think as if like you're running in in three dimensions, <laughs> and as as like, oh, I'll do that. Okay. 
Give me a second <laughs> as the Lurk uh, channel point redemption has been made. So I'm just going to quickly just do a thing. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not the normal Lurk. It isn't. Wait, what's the... <laughs> and like, <Hello>. as... <laughs> yeah, I think like you can just, you can see Lo-Fi Boy, uh, this giant tail um lift itself out of the water and just like kind of splash water around and like buffet you almost and pushing you around as it swims away from you guys or away from you Sorry, no. no worries and then you just hear the crunching noise again of the creature eating something as it comes to resurface i'm sure that's fine <laughs> It is now. Is there anything else? Was that sorry, Lonika? Oh, oh, sorry. I don't think you actually I, I, did anything. No, <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. Um, um, that's not what I wanted. Um, <laughs> cool. I'm gonna float on a flat. It's a low fi boy. Um. I can, can. I don't know if I can even reach him because I'm floating, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not very strong. You, and you could like float down if you wanted to. Can I try and reach him and try and help him up? Yeah, Maybe? I'd say like that. Give him the help action, so like he wouldn't need to roll on his turn to get pulled up. Oh, cool. I will try and do that. I am also going to move my lights a bit um oh, God. Mm -hmm. oh there's a fella down there good <laughs> you do yeah you see a crystal guardian like doesn't notice you guys and it looks like it's just walking towards walking downwards Almost in a haste, as if it's trying to run from something. Okay. Uh, does Shiki need to see? <laughs> no. Okay. Shiki has time's eyes. That's all right then. This is. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll just use my action to try and help Low Fight Boy off mm -hmm. um, his turn then. All right. All right. It's time's turn, and Shiki is going to try and attack the. Uh... The two guards. Oh, wow. She's able to disarm the one that like she was attacking first, and like you can hear like a splash as something thin splashes into the waters. But the other guard is able to um is able to kind of like just parry uh, Shiki's other attack. And then you hear time just uh, call for Shiki. Shiki, heal. And then you can hear the bark uh, echoing through the walls. Uh, but you don't hear the foot, uh, the running of um, of Shiki, but you do hear steam. As then you you can just about, you can just see she's, uh, she's beside time now. As like she just begins to start steaming. And wafting from, uh, from within his jacket. Okay, you okay then, Aloniko? She's just desperately reaching down to Lofa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. Good. <laughs> he then, um, let me see. He then also casts levitate on himself. As he then just basically runs through the air towards you guys. Okay. And Shiki just, like, he kind of grabs onto Shiki. Um, onto, like, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, um, the bow you made out of Lucera and just, like, kind of holds onto her. And then bring in, and then, like, picks her up and then just, like, brings her along with him. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I don't know if you heard it, but, um, it knows I'm here. So, uh, maybe we should, we should, we should go. Lofi, what is your turn? Very good idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So I finally like catch uh, Lolonico's oh. hand. When you um when you went to reach for Lolonico, uh, Lo Nico, you would have like slowly wafted down to the ground, by the way, and you felt the little tiny paws on your legs kind of like dematerialize. And like you just get like a, the the hint of lavender as like they dissipate, and then you see time. Then suddenly he has them, as he was running across the uh, through the air. So are you saying, little boy? So I guess I would finally catch uh, Lo Nico's hand and try to make my way up. Mm -hmm. uh, is that like an action or a roll? Nope. I'll let you. With Lo Nico's help, you were able to pull yourself up. All right. So, there we are. Um, oh, 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 uh, uh, thanks. Um, and also, sorry about your clothes. Um, d d I'll try to not, uh, and I try to just move away from her to not, like, trip. <laughs> like, Don't worry, I'll, I, like, I can do something about that. Uh, there's, I think there was this, uh, like, I, I saw something, uh, an entrance or some sort, just just here and like I, I just make the rest of my movement um oh wait no it's oh no it's just a gate yeah it's when you when you I look into so yeah when you step over this tiny little um this yeah. side canal you can see like you look into this gate with excitement and pure joy that like you're you think you'll escape realizing it's just like a storage cupboard and it's like just like filled with cobwebs and like plumbing supplies. Okay. Um. Well. That time we should run, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh. So just I don't want to calculate. This is fifteen feet. Twenty-five feet. Thirty feet. All right. Uh. That is it. And I exit rage, I guess, because I haven't taken damage or mm -hmm. done an attack. No worries. So the flowers would come back from inside of my body? Yeah. And would be kind of like all... Well... Not as pretty as before, let's just say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that is the end of my turn. As you... Go to do that. Oh, now as you go to do that, sorry. As that's happening. You can hear the sound like stones and bricks adjoining themselves and forming a bridge behind you. As you can see, the two skeletal guards um, behind you, Lonico, on the other side are transmuting the bridge and the wall, um, the pavement into a bridge of um, green stone that they are walking over towards you guys. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's super cool. But like, they're just like building it enough to like not. They'd end their turn by the time like um, you guys have moved away because they're not gonna like they they almost like holding themselves back because they don't want to like get into range just yet. And as that's happening, <laughs> <Time shot. laughs> as that's happening, you can see um, Lo Fi Boy, one of the guards um, holding a an, uh, Naginata, comes running towards you and then goes for a, a two handed slash on you. 15 doesn't hit, though, does it? Nah. Nope. But it'll go for two attacks. And just missing that one as well. I'm still dancing in place. Mm. <laughs> and... Oh, that is scary. What? The thing. Do you see the it? The turn order for the thing. Yeah. I don't know, there's a weird thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you hear something just like pull itself out of the water and something wet like drag itself across the stone from behind those guards. And you can see the crystal guards kind of look almost panicked as whatever it is has pulled itself out of the water 
and you can just about see in the light the head of this giant beast that looks to have a long oily black mane that's been like covered that's like has been drenched in the sewage water you can see it's full of like glass shards um just debris and just all the nastiness of the sewers tangled within this long um just dark shadowy mane and you can see the head of this creature is like two crocodiles fused um down the middle where like a central eye is where you can see two eyeballs just glaring at you loniko for a second but then looking at the crystal guards and you can see it's got like it's all those scales like and it um it scales like ghostly white and just shimmer every now and then you can see um it's got uh koi fish scales and a, a koi fish uh, sp uh speckled markings of black and like uh black and uh orange all over its body and uh tiny w and like not tiny but sorry whiskers like koi fish uh coming out of its face and you can see its reptilian arms through the shadows that have like wing that are winged uh by the elbows and like that's as much as you can see through the shadows and as it like appears you see the one face on the left open wide as it begins to f form a beam of energy <laughs> if I do this, Aridos use tanker beam. You say, you, you say that. <laughs> no, no, no. If he's like, good, good luck, no fire. <laughs> <laughs> Could I? That is so scary. Shouldn't theory do the thing that I think it's gonna do? Perfect. All right. You see, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. I guess you don't need to roll. I think. Don't worry, you don't need to roll. You don't need to roll Dex. Don't worry. Okay. As you see this energy form within its mouth, and it begins to like kind of like splurge out from between its teeth. So you can notice some of its teeth are chipped, and there's still some like uh, of the crystal and. Um, bone stuck between its teeth in places as well um as it tries to like form this beam in the in, on the left head and as it's just about to launch and fire it towards you guys you see the right head turns and goes to bite at these two guards here and the beam just fires into this one you just hear the stone in that area just explode as like and burst of water and time just kind of like just like is like in a flustered panic as well as he like looks like he's ready to try and sidestep that as well um we can see, just see and uh, see bricks flying from that general direction as these um as it tries to bite at these two here and he gets him <laughs> and it just goes to lunch um lunge at them sorry and goes to, lunch. <laughs> goes to lunch i mean it's having lunch yeah you see both of them just get like taken in by its ginormous maw and then just get snapped and just collapse into a d sh explosion of crystals metal splint armor and uh and bone loniko your turn and you just hear time just mutter or you hear Time's voice within you. Oh boy. <laughs> it fills me with confidence. Okay, I need to move my Don't worry, I got so this. I fucking see where I'm going. I guess we're going down. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I want to see. Um. I want to see something, <laughs> anything at all. <laughs> you just send more light downwards. Did 
do I want to go? I mean, at this rate, I'll take a guard <laughs> compared to that <laughs> thing. I am going to Misty Step. <laughs> go ahead. Because oh. I can do that once a day, and I'm going to do it now. I can Misty Step? She can Misty Only Step. Only once a long rest, because oh. I, I have Faye touched now. <laughs> Um, actually, can I do that if I move all my lights? That's a good question. Me? <laughs> Probably not. Those are both bonus you don't, actions, or...? It's a bonus action, yeah. so you'd be able to use it. I'd, hmm, I'd let you use it as an action if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you see Lone Nico just swirl into a... <laughs> dance of fire that like just flashes for the moment and then you just see a flash of fire over here as um as she appears and you can just hear um time's voice just echo through that's smart clever <laughs> um i should have thought of that <laughs> just feel like please get out of there just a time and i guess i'm just gonna it's okay, I got this. I'm uh, just gonna move down a couple. Because I don't want to be hit. And mm -hmm. that's all I can do. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's it. <laughs> Alright, it'll be time's turn. And time, you see, come around the corner. But he's walking backwards and just like steps over the canal. And focusing on the creature. You just see a surge of lightning form within his palm that glows green. And you can see it like has smoky properties, like where like it lashes out, it turns to smoke. And as it begins to form into his hand, he just like throws it as if he was trying to bowl it. Um in the direction of the uh the chimera. So it has to make a deck save. fails as you see just a beam of lightning just get thrown out of time's hand creating a f flash of light through the entire uh tunnel if i just do this for you guys as you see just a streak of lightning fly upwards back to where you guys at the entrance that you guys had where um up here you can see the light of the entrance the lightning just like gets thrown into the wall as it surges through the chimera if i do the things that does the thing it's d6 during the flash will fight boy you see him rapidly scratching and with that, uh, in as fast as you, the lightning appears, it disappears. As you can see, the chimera almost like try to eat the lightning. And as it tries to eat the lightning, you see um, char, and you can see it like this, almost like the skeletal structure of it. And you can see that its entire body, um, it had like these giant draconic wyvern-like wings that like were torn and like cut out and like just just damage through like being living in these sewers and you can see it's a heavy uh strong lashing tail that also had a tuft of mane at the back of it that um swayed aggressively ouch <laughs> zap zap one does not like i'll eat you now smelly one and uh time then just begins walking backwards and Shiki comes running as well. It is now Lofo Boy, your turn. Alright. Uh, now that I'm seeing this uh, skeleton being uh, in front of me, you're saying that it was similar clothing to um, time but different, correct? Yeah. When you get like a battle, like you being in front of it, you can you notice that the armor is similar in like layering 
as uh, Times armor is. And like the the rolls of splint. And like tied by the, that um, that brown rope that he uh, he has uh, his armor touch, attached by. Or held together with. Alright. Um, well, in the flash that I, that I saw, you know, I saw this was a, another... Dead end. Can't continue here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Ah, uh, dang. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna... Hmm, I can't just look back and forth between time and the skeleton, but I don't really have time to think uh, right now, so I'm just going to slash uh, at the skeleton thing in front of me. Oh. My lad, go ahead. Uh, okay. So... I believe it isn't with the rage damage as well, right? Uh, I have not entered rage in this Perfect, yeah. thing. When you... Oops, uh, was I still in yeah, rage? Yeah, you were, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Check that. When you go to slash at this, um... At the... Uh, at this, uh, this crystal guard in front of you, you see your blade, um, the glitchingness of it, continue, like, r g becomes erratic, similarly, similarly to how it was when you were in rage. Um, but, like, the, the glitching kind of spreads out into a thicker blade and, like, a wider blade. And you see the flowering um, flowers at the handle kind of almost bloom as well. And as you slash, you see, you can see like the line that you cut in the air as you just cleave um, some of the armor off of the skeleton, revealing underneath the armor just um, crystals that have formed and swarmed around this um around his around the bones all right uh, and it just like looks at you and just tries like uh, it doesn't look like it's shaken by the damage though interesting um is it possible to shove at an angle or not really like if i were to move like this can i try to shove it like at an angle yeah. Into the water. All right. So then I would uh, stay within rage, move like this, and bonus action, shove with the the shield. Go ahead. And I will roll for strength. That'll do it. Hmm. <gasps> You kind of like try pushing at it, like as you like on the steps. You kind of like it's coming down the steps with you, or trying to like keep a level uh, fight with you. But as like you see, just like hover over the ledge, you just get you find the perfect timing to just like smack it. And as soon as like you're like it cut you, you see that the the guard gets almost caught off guard by that. Wow. But it does try to block, and when it does catch you, it tries to push yeah. back and push you down the stairs. But you just have just enough force, and you feel, you see the sh your shield as well glitch just every now and then, and just create a surge that like cause a rippling wave, pushing the guard into water, creating a splash as it hits the water. Mm -hmm. earlier yep and then i continue the rest of my movement uh next to loniko mm -hmm. low i don't think you can see him but you can hear just like i saw him in the flare yeah you could use you can you know those shiba and dan below and you can just hear them gibbering and jittering and running and scampering away Fine by me. <laughs> and now it's the guard's turn, and Lofi boy, you hear stone, and in between you as well, uh, Lonico, you hear stone transmuting as well, as like the wall beside you tries to push you uh, into the water, Lofi boy. 
Roll for your deck save, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm stu- that is such the pettiest the match. I love yeah. it. So, what is it you want me to roll for decks? Yes. Yeah, deck save. Alright. I love it. You succeed. You are able to just like kind of like, just like rush past the stone as the bricks like form beside you and try to push you in. As you can see, the guards like hand reach out of the water and like try to pull at the air as if like that's it using its that's it casting the spell and it try to pull itself up onto the um, back onto the uh, the platform. However, unsuccessful, it plunges back into the depths. And then you can, you hear, and you can just by seeing like the firelight, the chimera lunge itself over the gap as it just kind of flies and, and like hovers through as it just launches itself towards time. And it rushes towards him like a beast in pure primal rage, launching itself towards time. But it'll attack Shiki instead because t- Shiki's in the way and sh- trying to defend him. Shiki's the best girl. Shiki, run away! Shiki, no! And you see, as you guys like turn, you see the creature go to bite at the ground, grabbing a. Ch- um, the first head missing as like it goes to bite, the other head twists, throwing the left head into the wall and scraping it against the wall. But the right head. Is able to like latch onto the the, the platform that uh, Shiki's standing, and you can see it crush the stone from underneath as the uh, as the the platform cut breaks and is like just being crushed by the strength of the beast. You can see smoke seeping out of the jaws. And sh- uh, there we go. And it's gonna launch itself forward further, closer to time. Wait, so what happened to, to Shiki? Shiki has been eaten. And you see, it tried to reach with one of its hands to try and attack a um, slash at time's body. And reaching him. Dealing 15 damage, slashing at his coat. And he tries to like parry, but like it still nicks him. And you can see. The force that it pushes into its push, uh, like throws time's guard off. Low Nico, your turn. Oh, everyone hydrate, by the way. Just like oh shit, I have a reaction thing I can do. Oh, do you? What would you do? Well, I have silvery barbs, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I could do. I can do. Yeah, that does. Work. I could have done silvery barbs, which I'll put it in chat. Um, mm-hmm. if I can click the right fucking button. Um, <laughs> so basically, I would have given it disadvantage. It's... Okay, but... on the on the bite or the slash. Uh, the slash, because yeah, I feel like part of Low knows that Shiki's magical in some way, but she yeah. doesn't like time is a no. very physical. <laughs> yeah. yeah right, you right. you try and like like jingle in like almost like panic and like just like through like reactions like with those jingles it's like kinda like you shaking in disbelief almost. And like those shakes become notes that manifest into uh fiery spirits that go to run towards time or not run swim towards time. Or like just flare towards time. I don't know what the, how you describe fire <laughs> moving, but before they reach him, time's already like tried to like block the attack, but the, the beast was just too fast. Okay, I think it still gives him advantage. Like I can give disadvantage on something and then give something else oh, yeah. advantage. Oh yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, see ya. So, yeah, he, I'll give him advantage. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why it's, yeah, like, um, Epi just also mentioned it, like, it re-rolls. And it's interesting how, like, it's worded. Because, like, it, why yeah. do you just say, just give it disadvantage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how I assume. Yeah, no, because, yeah, like, that is basically, yeah. But, yeah, no, it is good. Um, yeah, so, I'm going to do that for my mm. reaction. Let me make sure I mark, mark that up. Yeah. Anything else? I mean, that was a reaction. Oh, it's my go. Oh, it is your go. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move some fire so I can see where I'm going again. Mm -hmm. We love this little routine. <laughs> I'm just making... <laughs> I, I feel like yeah, like you like it's like the panic <laughs> and distress. Um, uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. My damn indecision of where the fuck do I go? Um, let's see how far I can run. Uh, this pipe here is a low-hanging pipe that you would be able to okay. climb onto. Climb onto? Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just going to turn to Lord Rubble and be like, which way are we going? Uh, according to the map that I have uh, currently here, um, I suggest um, actually looking at it through Discord if you want. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm showing you the map. Um, we are currently um, here. And Lo's <laughs> like yeah. bouncing on her feet like hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> And the entrance is over here. So um I mean there's always we could always try to go that way. <laughs> yeah, the monster is right here, right? Or actually here now. So we can yeah. try to go around this way maybe and then try to escape like that or maybe just going around to this way am i going left right or down no boy. down down, down. <laughs> go down this way but this way we're going this way and i just do parts <laughs> <laughs> so like this way right yeah uh... <laughs> oh jesus christ on earth Bicycle. Um, mm. <laughs> right. Uh, we're going down, down. Na, 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 na. <laughs> hmm. um, you know what? Sure, I'm probably going to use the dash action. Um, Make sure I. Oh, thank you for the follow, Mellow, Mellow Body. Thank you. Can I, if he's a death, death, blah, blah, death action, stand on here? <laughs> this is gonna go terribly. Can I try to jump um, over here? Yes, you can. <laughs> so, okay. Sorry, I'm, also, I'm just doing a bunch of things on the side. That's okay. <laughs> just give me a second. Yeah, you can dash out if you want to. <laughs> okay, but I, I would like to jump over onto this um, deck thing. Yes, <laughs> roll for me a deck save, sorry. Sorry, I was like... Uh, uh, not deck save, sorry. Uh, a uh, acrobatics or athletics or dexterity. Thirteen. Thirteen. You are able to make it across. As like you just are panicked, rushing across and like like leaping over that one pipe, you reach another dead end and you just launch yourself. And through sheer force of adrenaline, you just are able to like just make it to the other end and don't slip or anything. You make it onto the other deck and you can just you can hear 
the gibbering and jabbering. And I don't know if you'd actually see. You can see the faint... You can see light coming from over here. Of, um, from the right? Yes, on the right. Like torch. See it on the map. Yeah. yeah, you can see torch light. But it's the wrong color. There you are. The, what do you mean it's the wrong color? <laughs> no, it was meant to be clear. Like, it had a tint to it. Oh. <laughs> Um, okay, um, I guess for now I'm just gonna hang out. I don't want to move the fly, I want to move me. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna hang out over, <laughs> over here because I don't want to go too far away. So I'll just hang out here in the dark. Um, yep, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> mm. Sorry, it's responding in chat. Oh, oh, you could start doing full up. Well, you're there. That's great. Uh, I, I recommend you moving more towards a way so that you don't see, can't see me eventually. If we want to like run away from that beast, <laughs> when you have the chance. I'm not leaving everyone behind. <laughs> I'm a healer, but I only have a touch heal spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come next to you to make that possible, don't worry. Bear with me. Mm hmm. Alright. Anything else, Low? Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. It is now Time's turn, and Time, you can just hear Time's voice echo through you. Shiki, fetch. And you can just. You guys, if you turn, you'll see that he just tosses like a stone. Not to start, sorry, a cup. I'm obviously, I don't know why I was thinking the stone. He uh, pulls out one of his cups and just tosses it in between the uh, the chimera. And, like It just rolls up the other side. Um, and in as it's rolling, you see it begin to steam and smoke falling out of it. And the hint of... Give me a second. I'm gonna, let, me, let me just... Uh, let me remember what my notes say for this thing. Because this is how he does a certain thing. If I find... Sorry, just give me a moment. If I was making the map on a piece of metal, like he's just gonna try to scratch harder in the places mm. he scratches when he kind of like try to make up for when he was explaining where things were to Lil Nico. Yeah, when when you when you can, you can just get the smell of like lavender and oranges wafting from the from the cup that, and the smoke that is um, that's like billowing from him, just like wafting through the air. Amongst all the sewage, you get the hint of the smell of spider lilies. As um, you just see time also turn into smoke. Oh. As uh, where like he sent Shiki, he teleports, and then you just hear him running away, and then you just hear a like um. The sound of a katana, like white being waved through the air. I don't know why I didn't put the AC on. Bear with me. Ouch! Smelly one stabs. As uh, you hear the chimera shriek in pain and turn. And trying to look behind it, but its body's so big and encumbering, it can't look over with its two big heads. Oh, no, sorry, the wrong thing. If, but yeah, and time is now running away. <laughs> it is Lofi Boy, your turn. Awesome. So, uh,. Where did time run away to? Uh, you just saw him run around the corner and just attack as he ran away. Okay, okay, cool. So, yeah, I'll start uh, making my way downtown. Walking oh, fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, walk. Oh, wait, I started here, sorry. Uh, 
20 feet, uh, 30 feet, I can only move up to here. Oh! Okay. Cool. Uh, so, I think I will also dash at this point. Uh, uh, but, like, thinking again about the sewers thing, uh, but still, I guess in the same movement, I just continuing the run uh, to try to jump onto the ledge next to Loniko. That would be... What kind of role? Athletics, perhaps? Say again, sir? Yes. Um, uh, if I were to... Uh, with the same... I want to dash, basically, and I just want yeah. to continue running and jump over to the little deck thing as well. And what kind of role should I do? A... Aquatic Athletics to try and jump across. All right. I won't lie, when you said that, I like half zoned out, so like I panicked, hoping that you yeah, did no say you were trying to jump across. Like, it's like, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's perfect. You, you do a perfect leap across, and your body kind of like crashes into the ducks, because you are made of metal, and are fairly hefty, but it's graceful at the same time, and you're able to like, just like, you like, land, like, you don't skip a beat as soon as you hit the duck, or the decking, you run. But as soon as you run across it, it is broken. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, so I guess I, I just continue here, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I do have a, like, tiny, tiny bit of movement left. I think just 15 feet, so I will move up to here. Oh! 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> also, you told me you were going down, and now you're going that way. Yeah, you can see a light over here, coming yeah, from what. Down this way. <laughs> when you <laughs> when you get around the corner, you can just see, you can see the f a faint light over here, and a few crystal guards, and some shabbat also around it. And like you can, like you see the flickering of firelight as a, a torch is what's creating that light over there. But yeah, the Shaban right. that's here. If is anything else you want to do? Sorry. Uh, no, just I am trying to understand because I my character like oh oh I actually do see a bit of uh, dark things. Interesting. Cool. No, go, please go on. Yeah, the Shabatan is gonna, um, the, sh the Shabatan, uh, on the other side, uh, pulls a brick out of the wall and then just prepares it like a sling. I mean, prepares it as one of its ammos and then just fires it towards you, uh, low fi boy. However, missing, and you just see, like, the brick just plunge into the, uh, the, uh, sewers beside you. And you can see around the corner, a another Shabatan comes rushing and swings its mace at you wildly. Damn you on your 20 AC. <laughs> Someone's gonna have some. <laughs> I got, that's why I try to move towards, I mean, ahead of Lodico, I guess. <laughs> you have doubled my health. <laughs> and maybe double your AC at this point. <laughs> I have 15, but yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, no. Give me a second, sorry. I don't even know where time went. <laughs> <laughs> like he is gone, and I'm like, oh, God, well, at least he gone. <laughs> where I will never know. And as I like, watch the stream, yeah, like, yeah, you just see time just run around the corner, and yeah, the Shabans are gonna try and attack and like running around. You can see the crystal guards also begin to prepare into a formation to defend this um the exit there but there's one that's around the corner comes towards you and as it sees you lo-fi boy you hear you hear the same transmutation noises of brick and stone as it tries to create a uh, wall behind you oh my god uh, that stops you from going back 
Okay. Dang. That's really cool. I, 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 yeah. It is now the Chimera's turn, and you can just hear the Chimera just like its body twist and turn was struggling to do that but you can hear stone breaking as it's moving and the heaviness of its body um as it kind of like slips and slides as it's moving and also like it's just like crunching and breaking things and then just a heavy splash as it falls into the water and then begins to s and then you hear like very fast swimming from the creature as it you can only assume it's chasing time It is now. Loniko, your turn. Okay, so there's a wall there now. Yeah, there's a wall now blocking uh, you from Lofi Boy. Is the wall. It is five feet tall. Oh. It's five I can't feet brick see wall. Over it. <laughs> yeah, you can't see over it, but you can see Lofi Boy's head over it. Yay! <laughs> oh, wow! Uh <laughs> Well, I might as well be able to see what I'm doing, I guess. Uh, little light for the man. Um, <laughs> just gonna go up to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Lonico? Um, I'm just seeing if I have to be able to see things to do my spells. Mm. <laughs> um, if it just says a point I choose within range, does that mm -hmm. mean I have to see it? <laughs> A point you can see within range, or a point just within no, range, a, sorry. A point within range. Yeah, you don't need to see. Oh, beautiful. Um, I might try sleep. Oh. <laughs> um, God, I haven't done this spell in ages. Um... Fuck off, dissonant whispers. I don't want you. <laughs> well, if you want to roll the the five d eight. Okay. Well, I don't want it to be to hit low five boy. So. Yeah. I think you get to pick though, don't you? You um... choose creatures within twenty feet. You choose. Oh. oh no, the point I choose. Um oh, right. the creature with the lowest current hit points. We'll do is I'll make this I for the sake of don't life. think. How much I... is the aura? Uh it is twenty feet. Yeah. I'll put the spirit uh give you control of the spirit so you can like move it around. Well, Nico, there you are. Mm. You should be able to move that spear around. Mm. You've got the drawing uh, tabs, tool still open there, so. Drawing the tab? Huh? I can't quite see, so I don't oh. know if it's currently in a wall. <laughs> oh, is it in a wall? Oh, wow. I don't know. I, can't I probably put it in a wall. Can I there we go. Is that better? Oh, it doesn't have vision, I'm stupid. Hang on. I'll just move this so they can see. It wasn't even that like it didn't it didn't even have light, like it just didn't have any vision. So I'll give it twenty feet vision. Uh 
20 feet. No, 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 that's just for the sake of. That's just for the sake of, like, Lonika finding what she needs. Yeah. If I put it here, it's not in a wall. And it's. Cool. Sweet. I'll put it there. <laughs> that was something. Okay, now I have to roll. 5d8. Nice. And I hope. They're not too bad. 34. 34. Hey. So. Yeah, so starting with the one with the lowest hit points. Don't know which one that is. It would be um, the Crystal Guard. To, cool. It has to take... It has to subtract all of their hit points before they go. Just give me a second. The Crystal Guard isn't affected by sleep. Oh. That's okay. He's undead, isn't he? So. Yeah. However, the Shaban is... And it does. Uh, that one is put to sleep. Snap time. Yeah, Love bubble. You just see like describe what does sleep look like, uh, Lonika? Um, she probably. I mean, she's got plenty of time on the other side of this wall, so she's going to take out her flute and play a lullaby. <laughs> hmm. Um, and that, like, I guess the notes would kind of float up and around and kind of circle their heads, like you know when cartoon characters have like the dizzy circles around them. <laughs> hmm. It's like that, but it makes them fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Um as like you just you start playing, the notes turn into physical form and then just like waft slowly around the wall. And then, I love how you can see these notes swirl around the Shaban and begin to like slip into the sides of it as you can't exactly see where its ear holes are. And then, like, as it starts slipping in, you just see it just begin to like lazily start swinging and then lazily start moving and then just begin to like kind of like hunch over and then just kind of crawl into a little ball. And you can see out of its various noses on its bodies, it begins blowing those bubbles. <laughs> As it's just snoring. Why is it so cute? God damn it, there was one up here. Oh, and it just jibbers while it's snoring as well. Cute. Anyone oh, else? My turn. Nope. No <laughs> I'm worries. just gonna vibe on the other side of this wall. Mm -hmm. You don't hear or see time, but you can hear. You can hear, um. You hear the sound of lightning again as a flash of lightning strikes from above. If I do the thing, that's a hundred feet. As you see a flash of lightning that um, is green and smoky again, and like you can see, if you get if you are able to see the camera, I don't I think you can just about see uh, Lo Nico. You see yeah. Ghost tries to eat the fire again. Uh, I mean the lightning bolt this time, and as it tries to eat it, it casts counter spell. Oh, it doesn't cast counter spell. You see the spell kind of try and like get re like it begins to reshape. So if I can, if I get time to roll a con save. Although the, you see the spell stop being smoky and like kind of diminish for a second, it turns back into uh, a sharp bolt of lightning that gets eaten by the chimer and causes the chimer to just like begin to char and smoke as a zap of lightning just spreads through like a, as if like a beam of lightning through the entire sewers um, as the uh, the uh, the chimera uh, gets zapped and you can hear it shriek in. Um, in agony if i roll the d6s i believe it's three well three um, i roll the wrong dice because i'm stupid <laughs> was that three four no i rolled uh three three d8 here yeah. it was meant to be eight d um eight d6 i see oh three that's a 46 
96, baby. Uh, 96. Yeah, no. I, yeah. <laughs> bots to bots. Okay. Oh, I'm stupid. I did the same thing where I added health again. <laughs> Alright. It is now. Uh, Lofi Boy, your turn. Alright, so. I would like to pick up the Shabbatan's uh, weapon. It, unless it's holding on to it when it's sleeping. What was it, sorry? The Shabbaton sleeping in front of me. Yes. May I pick up its weapon? You can, yes. Alright. Uh, doing so, um, can I throw it like, <laughs> Yeah, like it, like it just like, it doesn't even like have a grip on it, so when you just pick up its mace, you can just toss it. Where would you have to toss it? Uh, honestly, I'm not going to try anything too crazy. I'm just going to yeet it in the water. It, like, it just creates. Well, I, yeah. When you go to pick up its uh, spiked mace, you do feel like it's very heavy, surprisingly heavy, actually. Like you just imagine, it's like it's like a pure, like pole of iron, essentially. And then, like, but you do get to pick it up and you just toss it into the water, and it creates a very heavy thud as it splashes in. And then this shibani here starts gibbering and shrieking. If I, anything else? Uh... Am I able to carefully walk into the same space as the sleeping Shabbaton? Roll for me... Dexterity. Yep. You do? Alright. <laughs> You're gonna squeeze so into its space and standing over it, sleeping. Okay. Uh, I will enter each. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully stand over the I will enter each. Yeah. Basically, it's like closing my eyes and... Um, and letting the wild magic surge do something incredible. Who knows? <laughs> uh, 44. 44. Uh, I will copy the message as soon as I find it. Oh, thank yes! Oh no! What's happening? We haven't written uh, 44 because we just stopped midway through. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, help me a minute while we figure out um, what's 44 going to do. Uh, I'm going upwards, uh, I'm at 16. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me pull up the sheet, because I feel like we, like, we, we did, we did have a thing. 10, 5, uh, 20, 80s, magic. Yeah, I'm on the oh my. right now. Oh no, yeah, because we did it, like, oh, we had a math thing, like, there was a w way we did it. I know. It was 43, was it? Uh, it's 44. 44. Oh, you're physically doing. Alright, I'll do the other way. Uh, anything else you want to do on your turn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, basically, for the longest time, you just see Lo-Fi Boy breathing in place, trying to fight Mustard the Rage inside of him. What's his, his rage look like? Quivering. Like, what happens? <laughs> like, for real, like, canonically, is that it's not just a pure rage of anger, it's more like he dissociates, and there's nothing but anger. And sometimes it can be a very calm and eerie anger that just, mm. like, you, the wild magic inside of him, like, just swells and blows up. And sometimes he might cry, sometimes he might, uh, like, just be very silent and calculative while he figures out what wild magic effect will come up. Sometimes... I think, yeah, that we found it. Oh yeah, we found it. All right. Woo. Yeah. Sometimes what? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, like right now, uh, his wild magic uh, kind of uh, takes the form of one of the aspects of uh, Shio. Um, Shio Sha. Shio Sha. So this one is uh, inspired by uh, the Earth aspect. Yeah, Shio Sha. Of of uh, the homebrew divinity of Shirei Leo. 
and this one uh, creates a 10 foot radius uh, basically tremor mm -hmm. and it also becomes difficult terrain and each time that I take the attack action there's a 50 chance present chance to create another tremor <laughs> that actually invokes the earth god which <laughs> is basically the wild magic inside of uh wolf lo-fi boy kind of like connects with the world of shuri leo mm -hmm. and so sometimes it might be a manifestation of its uh creator yeah you feel like your roots pull out from your like the specific uh your your right leg i believe no, your left leg, uh, where all the cracks are and the flowers are uh, exposed. You can see, like, the roots grow out and begin to, like, just entangle into the ground. And then as soon as they touch the ground, you see roots get thrust out in between the stone. And you can hear the stone cracking and creaking under the pressure and the strength of your roots as, like, the ground is shaking around you. Like, you can see this happening through the wall. You can see roots growing up the walls and, like, around on the... Um, the bricks and the floors around you and you can even see the water the wall begins to tremble here and there as the shaban underneath you fails a deck save it doesn't eat her it's asleep your boy is fucked he's right underneath the earthquake he is he All is right. the point of uh, the earthquake is being taken on but the other one is trying to hold its ground and as it like it happens you see it trying to like mold the ground itself as well and like trying to shape the bricks but your rage is too much and you just create like a surge in the air that like ripples out from the roots causing the bricks to like just get pushed upwards and create like jagged uh, terrain that is very difficult to traverse that only you can pinpoint the spots where you can step through easily but yeah all right so the the sleeping one would take a d6 of bludgeoning damage of uh, six oh, it takes a full six takes a whole oh shit it also wakes up if it takes damage your boy's yeah. awake <laughs> but it has no weapon. <laughs> it's just like it shakes in panic. <laughs> right. Shakes in panic and like it's just like, what? It's like it has returned to monkey essentially. He's <laughs> okay. no weapon. Mm, yeah, it, it's trying to like grasp the air looking for weapons, but it realizes it's just jagging onto um grabbing onto jagged bricks. And the other one? Uh roll failed his deck save, we got eight. I was at oh so that was an immediate fail because he was sleeping, okay. I see. Yeah. So yes, let's do the D six. A two. Uh cool. Then I would like uh that was a bonus action to enter a rage, so then I would like to take my action and just actually slash at the uh Undead in front of me, uh, separating me from Loniko. Um, so, I will. I'm. Would it be with disadvantage since I'm occupying the same space as uh, the. Repeat that all again, sorry? Yes. I would like to slash the guy in front of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, and is he concentrating to good for the transmutation, or was it just a permanent effect as. Uh, no, he doesn't need to concentrate. He doesn't need to okay. concentrate. Awesome. Uh, he does have his hand outstretched to hold onto it. Yeah. Cool. So but you, then, you don't need disadvantage. Uh, You'll be you'd be able to attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, seeing that the wall doesn't budge uh, as he gets hit from the thing, um, Lofi Boy will just attack the the, the <laughs> Shabbaton like in. I guess we're almost hugging each other at this point, mm. um, so it's going to be like a stab in the back. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wait, <am> I hits. <laughs> uh, All right. Nine slashing. So that'll be... Yeah, the Shaban underneath you is like just like in panic, and like you just like slash downwards. And it just becomes even more panicked as you like cut like down the like you pierce through the center of it, and you can see where you pierce it like it kind of like just like burns away and just creates a big hole in its body that like kind of like because of the way it was curled up on itself, 
it kind of like, you can see like just random holes all over its body where you pierce through because of the way it was like leaning all over itself. Anything else? Uh, I'm just staring at the undead in front of me and kind of nudging at the wall. If it, <laughs> if it understands what I mean by that, and that's it. That will be the end of my turn. Thank you. Sorry, that was the end of your turn? Yep. yep. The Shaban underneath you is going to try and grab at your leg and then throw you into the water. <laughs> because it can't do anything else. Yeah, that's fair. It's going to pull a wrestling move. <laughs> Was that a strength uh, save? Yeah, could you roll a strength save for me to yep. beat 12? Ooh. Ooh. You... You kind of like plant yourself and like the Shabatan is just like trying to throw you off as much as it can and like you kind of just like give like one... In your rage, you just kind of give like a swift like turn and like kick and just like the force of that kick launches the Shabatan into the water and he just falls in and just creates a heavy plunge if i give do the things where he loses the what's it called sleep like i'll be honest he might actually find his weapon <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> depending on how deep he goes like it's a possibility <laughs> The Shaban on this side is going to try and shoot at you, Lone Eco. Um, oh, did, what, what do you mean on this side? Oh, there is one yeah, I can barely the other, see there. The yeah, other yeah. side, yeah. So oh, right, and... Uh, never mind, no, no, go on, go on. Sorry. 13 hit? Nope. No, Lone Eco, not low fi boy. <laughs> Me? No, my AC no. is 15. <laughs> no, you are safe. It just, like, goes to pick up a brick, but then it can't pull it out of the earth. You you see he's trying to pull out one of like there's just one jagged one that you create from your roots and he's trying to pull that one out but he can't as your roots are kind of like, you can see your roots almost even trying to grip it and hold it in place. I wouldn't throw a brick at a child. <laughs> <laughs> While these you can't hear but you can uh or you can't see but you can hear the clanging of uh and the walking and running of um guards and creatures up from up here you don't need this anymore but one guard comes just behind you lone eco and it goes for a slash with this oh. uh, naginata <laughs> that's so scary it came out of nowhere and 15 hits lone eco does 15 hits sorry yeah i mean my hmm. ac is 15 so. ah, it do it gives just one slash on you um and you do sidestep it, but like it still just cuts at your um, cuts at your clothing, at your the sleeve of um, of your left or your right, sorry. And the one that's uh, over at you tying, did you just create the guard again, uh, the spirit again for a second, or that did it? It came back. I don't know. Yeah, why. that's weird. Yeah, the one in front of you, uh, Lofa boy, is going to try and slash at you as well, but goes to slash at the stone instead. Because uh, you are able to just sidestep it. And the brick, uh, you hear the stones kind of turn back in on themselves. Actually, no, you hear the stones just collapse to the ground and cascade onto the floor as uh, as that stone wall is now gone. It is the Chimera's turn. You can only just hear it grumbling and like it just chomping and just bricks crushing in the distance, echoing through all the chambers. But you can't, you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Roll for me. Oh, sorry, Low Nico, your turn. Okay. Um. Just. Um. <laughs> also, hello, Casa Chat. Nice name. <laughs> God, I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Um, theoretically, if I stood on the same square as Lo-Fi Boy... Mm hmm you'd be able to. <laughs> um, 
if I did that, would this not affect him, basically, is what I'm Interesting. <laughs> Give me a second. So, it's a cube. If I'm pushed away from If you're you, standing on him, then no, cube. it wouldn't affect him. Yeah. yeah. It just, yeah, it, it affect you, because, like, like, where you are, then the cube affects bang, bang, but, and bang, but not you. I mean, if you're underneath me, maybe I would be pushed up, if anything, but... No, no, you wouldn't be affected by the cube. Okay, okay. As long as Nico's in the same cube as you, you aren't affected. Oh, I see. I mean, in the same uh, square. Okay, even though I went through all of that effort, I then realized I'd have to get away from this guy and he'd get attack opportunity mm. on me and I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I can technically still reach these people, it just means low five boy would get hit. But you know, mm. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> um... I mean, what's that? <laughs> ah. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> do you have a, also just out of curiosity, but do you have a potion in your inventory? Um. I don't know. It'd be in yeah. Magic Limes, I think. Ah. Fuck, sorry, my ears. Oh, I do. I have one potion of healing. Mm. That's fun. Is that a bonus action? It is. <gasps> oh. Also, a reminder that there is uh, channel point redemptions for healing also, and taking part in the uh, the session with the players. Continue. Did you know you're the best, DM? Anyway, can I, I do, thank you. <laughs> I, don't, I, sh I, I don't know why I said I do. I, like, I was meant to be very humble to then. <laughs> You can also decide to flush us, but you know, we would love you if you didn't do that. That's two... I mean, it's 2d4 plus 4. You heal by 8. You quickly just pull out, remembering that you have a bottle of uh, heal, a potion of healing. Pulling it out, quickly taking a sip, and you get the taste of cherry medicine. As like it, like you, you, you get the taste of, it. and it has a slightly burning taste that you can't recognize, and you don't like it. Um, well, you might not like. It. I'd assume, I'd hope she, Lonico doesn't like the taste of this burning sensation. Good. Uh, drink responsibly. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, and, uh, and then I'm gonna do some to it. Oh, yeah, you just get this warm sensation that comes from the healing. Oh, yeah, Thunderwave boy. Thunderwave, mark off my spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have to make a constitution saving throw. Con saving throw. So this one, and that Shaban, and Lo-Fi boy. And the, <laughs> no, the, the cube works like this, if I, I, oh. if I do this. Sorry. It, it, it's, it's weird. It, it's a really weird, like, yeah, exactly like that. Like, it'd be. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh is it like five? Yeah, five? yeah. Like, exactly, yeah, like, it's like. That's awkward if it's 15. It's, 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 it's like, like, it's this. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I, oh, that's what I assume. Give me a Actually, you know what? Give me a second. Cause, like, everyone doesn't know how Thunder Wave works. <laughs> In a fifteen-foot cube, like is exactly. Like, what the fuck does that mean? The radi is it the radius? It's fifteen it feet the... off of you, so like I think it is a radius. So it's like. I mean, that's what it sounds like, cause it's from. Yeah, like if I sell fifteen-foot cube. God. Yeah, See, like, so... that doesn't make sense. That's too much. So it would like, be seven. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Hmm. But like, I assumed it was like fifteen feet from where you like pointed, or like around you. But that would be like seven, if it like if one side measures fifteen feet, then yeah. it means half of it would be like seven point five. Maybe it's feet. like if it's fifteen foot in like a diagonal, so it's like that. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. That's also a possibility. Okay, so just this guy. Yeah. 
You're fine, Lo-Fi boy. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Yay! No, that's fine. <laughs> How do you... Are you strumming your, your uh, shamisen when you do that, or...? Yeah, goddamn right I am. <laughs> Taking a shot of healing potion and strumming my... <laughs> Oh shit, yo. Lo, uh, when you cast it, cast on the way for me. Uh, if it got 18, but like if you want to roll damage oh. for me, I believe it gets half. Uh, 2d8. Yeah, and it doesn't get pushed away. But when you strum the. Uh, the I don't know why your... that happened. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> very <laughs> odd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. 6 plus 8. Uh, <laughs> yep. No, it's because it got a crit on the eight, so it gave you a plus five, I think. But you can't do that. That's weird. That's that's that. That's not normal. Just, that is weird. Yeah. yeah I don't when know you strum your your pick on your um your shams, and you feel the notes give that ethereal note again, and you can feel like that spirit that was like latch the 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 teething spirit that you uh saved. You can feel its spirit um or the spirit of the pick. Um, kind of like reveal itself and like weave itself around the strings of your uh, shamisen and as like your strings uh, just vibrate you can feel just magic surge off of them and they give this ethereal octave note as if like it's uh, five other shamisens sorry not five uh, four other shamisens playing so it's four different octaves all at once creating like a, a blast of noise that is loud powerful and just thunderous and creating a shock of red uh, lightning that turns to fire as it like just peters out it upon hitting the uh this um this guard it the guards like crystals begin to crack and um just like, shatter and it gets pushed back by the force of the um of the spell being cast really? and yeah and the uh the the, the crystal guard it just explodes the armor goes flying everywhere. The Naginatars and the uh, katans that I was wearing go flying everywhere. And you can see um, the crystals themselves, they burn like white fire for the briefest of moment and glitch as they just disappear. And you feel connected to your pick and now you are fully attuned to it. Ah, oh, too cool. Uh, just this little side note to chat. Uh, we do like the uh, the way I do attunement is instead of doing um, like uh, what's the word? Um, like kind of like connecting to the weapon through like, resting or like getting uh, checked out. They have to hit a certain criteria, and if they hit the criteria, they. Uh, Can you tell me what that was? Now that I've it was. Mm -hmm. You oh thank you uh, thank you chat for the uh, the subscription by the way thank you. Um, that was uh, one witnessing a powerful uh, blast of magic that was times lightning bolt. Uh, two was um, performing with the pick. Very cool. And you feel connected to the spirit of the pick, and you can see the um, the clouds that like glitched within uh, the forged magic piece, um, kind of hum in your fingertips. Um. Well, that's exciting. Oh, yeah. shit, I can move now. You can. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. What else would you like to do? Um, uh, I can't move my lights, and I don't really want to run in the dark. So I actually probably might just, just hang out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess. I still don't know which way we're going. Also, should I delete this little spirit fellow down here? Yeah, let's, let's delete him. Get him, get him out of here. Get him gone. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna be like cool and just mm. vibe. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you hear, um, you can just hear times. No, you don't even hear times voice, sorry. You just can just hear like the slashing of, um, of weapons and like this sp and spells being cast from far away, but you can't hear the effects or see the effects of any of them. You can just hear. Just their battle raging on if the, in the distance through the sewers. Oh, wait, I... Does it seem to emanate more from one point or another? Because I, I feel like time is like trying to fight off the camera by himself. And I feel like we should go back him up. 
it's coming from all over so like you can like hear it coming from here 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 and then eventually you even hear it coming from here well eventually you say yeah like the re uh, echoing takes a while but it does get there eventually so it's more in this uh, either over here or there kind of uh, thing okay um cool then uh Okay, that means, uh, Lonico, we should proceed since I believe over here, uh, and I point uh, where it's flashing, uh, mm -hmm. the path is kind of closed, if I remember correctly, so we should go around inward this side so that we can go back outward, I think, towards time. We, we really need to find some kind of bridge or gap. Uh, we need to find a way, a way out. <laughs> a way out? Um, we can also try that for sure, um, and then I just hit uh, mm. the guy in front of me. Go ahead. The one in the water or the one on, uh, on your side? Uh, uh, uh this one. Yeah. The hits. Alright, uh, so he takes nine of slashing, and also... Uh, when the difficult, uh, sorry, the make it tremble effect is happening, the 50%, there's a 50% mm, general D100 for me? Sure, that's exciting. It fails. It doesn't cause them the tremor. Uh, it had to, okay, cool. So, no more tremor, but, uh, it still does take, uh, some sashing. So, anyways, that's that. Oh! Anything happens as it's as I slash the undead in front of me? You do just get like a clean cut on it, but you don't. Nothing much special happens other than your. Um... Actually, yeah, I will say, it, it being within range of a low Nico thunder wave, you feel when the surge of like lightning, oh sorry, thunder and sound. Um happens you felt like your blade kind of like boom as well mm. but like other than that nothing much happens other than you kind of you do slash into the arm and break off chunks and reveal the crystals uh shell within that's um protecting the the bones from within and you can actually see um in certain places you can see like these ethereal green chains wrapped around uh certain parts of the crystals and bones from within all right as a bonus action, I would like to try to shove him. And mm -hmm. can I, I'm not sure if it's possible to do, but what I have in mind is basically he's standing in front of this undead and he would like to kind of like kneel down. So with one, like, um, one arm pushing with a shield and the other arm um, trying to pick up a bit of the crystal that fell off from the undead. Yeah, I don't know. Roll, uh, if you roll strength check, I'll, I'll give you, um, okay. yeah, let you pick up a crystal. There you go. Let's see. You aren't able to budge him, and he kind of just, like, pushes you back, stopping your shield from even getting within right. range. Um... So then I, after this slight uh, exchange, I guess I would just say to low Nico, uh, I, I don't think it's... The make it tremble is only when there's a new tremor that it causes the terrain to... Like the terrain doesn't change with me, no. I it did describe the, the terrain changing with you, like it like kind of like twists and jag becomes more jagged. No. Does it? Okay. So that's what uh, made it difficult. Go. Oh dang! Honestly, based on my map, yeah, we have to make we have to push through this current place uh, that we're in here, unless that you're able to create some kind of like you're very small, Loni. So if you fall into the water, do you know how to swim? <laughs> Yeah, just about. Okay, yeah. It, it, I know it's kind of s s weird. Okay, 
okay. And then I start screaming. Um, <laughs> I'm right over here. There's plenty of food for it. Maybe he can distract it and we can leave safely all together. That's why I have one uh, spell slot left, just if you wanted to know. <laughs> okay, cool. But yeah, honestly, just holding this position is the best we can do. Um, and that would be the end of my turn. The Shabatan on the ground is going to try and like... You see it come up uh, out of the water and you see it's holding its mace. And holding its mace is going to try and sweep you uh, and pull you into the water. Can you roll a deck save for me? Yes, I will. You succeed and like as you try and sweep you just like kind of kick it away again. And like, although you don't, you try to disarm it. It doesn't. It do, but it does stay within the water. And like, you do see it kind of sink lower and lower, as if like it doesn't know how to swim. And the shaman on the other side with the sling is going to try and fire at you with a brick. It hits. It does. <laughs> as you just get like a brick just flying straight, and smacking into the back of your head and exploding. You see, uh, low. You can see a dent in his head. Where the brick has like smashed into him, revealing, exposing a bunch of roots and flowers from within. Um, but, 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 but that is about it. Uh, it's now the guards' turn to attack, and it's gonna go to slash at you with its uh, with this katana. Oh, now twenty. Big. And you take seven plus five as you it like with all it musters all its strength to slash at you, and you can hear like the crystals almost sing when it does that, and you just feel this like slash cut into your metal and cut out ch like a huge chunk of your chassis, exposing, um, exposing more roots and uh, vines from within. And like as you guys like fighting, and uh, you can hear like. The sound of like um, time and like spells being slung from around the caves die down, and the chaos that like you felt from when like the chimera was chasing time and just hunting him and trying to trying to catch him. You can you feel like the sudden like quietness that like has like come from all the tunnels now has set some like you don't know what's exactly happened but whatever's happened has like whatever like was happening has stopped for some reason that like meant either or it's gone that's so creepy no. <laughs> oh look oh we got a healing spirit for low nico Thank you. Uh, oh, two healing spirits. Thank you. Uh, low Nico, you get three uh, three hit points back, and um, Lofobo, you get one. But ta you, a hey. hey. the spirit came back. That's actually really creepy. Below is your turn. <laughs> hey, thank you, he's no bad. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the much needed healing. Thank you so um, much. So this is difficult. Yeah, that's right. difficult terrain. Right. I think it lasts for a minute. Okay. So that it's just double my movement. Yeah. Right? Look, my boy, I need to come and smack you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking shit? Oh, This is my last spell slot, so... <laughs> Alright, if you want to roll 1d8, plus your spell uh, spell casting. As it went, uh, Lone Nico comes rushing towards you. You hear her bells jingle, and they begin to manifest into uh, healing spirits that rush towards you and swirl around you, and they kind of, like... like they, they appear like foxes when they, like, latch onto your body, and then they, um... You see them kind of, like, just, like, hover over your um your damaged uh, uh shell and you can see like they like using like their tails kind of like, pat in the area and you see although like they don't like re heal the, the metal and like forge metal the metal back on you see like almost what looks like forged magic 
um, takeover, and like there's like a glitching like aura around those damaged parts just get filled in, and like the this this glitchy like force field is like protecting your insides. Interesting. Oh, it, and it, it, total it. healing. Mm-hmm. I've added it. Thank you. Anything else? Uh. Um, I guess I'll move back one because it's all I can do. <laughs> um, oh, I haven't moved my light, so you know what? Have a bardic inspiration <laughs> as well. A, hey. and those some of those healing spirits also form into a uh, bit of bardic inspiration. That spirit keeps coming back. I know it's about. scaring me. I hate it. <laughs> I do anything. It's a revenant. Just... Oh my god. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, anything else, Lonika? Uh, no, I'm all done now. Oh, oh uh, Lo-Fi Boy gets uh, D8 7 healing as well. Thank you, uh, thank you, yo. B. Um, now, Lo-Fi Boy, your turn. All right. Um, oh, dang. If I do something, if I attack now, I might actually damage Lonika. Oh, dang. Uh, wait, actually, can I try to move across to here? I know it's a, it's yeah, a as long as, gap, but... As long as you're still in range. I mean, as long as you're still focusing on this one, you you won't be attacked up to you. This one, sure. you you can almost ass you assume that they've, like, drowned. They're, like, their pick was so heavy that they, like, just, like, they couldn't pull themselves out. Not their pick, sorry, their mace oh, was too no. heavy. So then and you just I see will... a faint fire from within the water of white. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dang. Um, Alright, so I will hit it, him again uh, with this lord. Go ahead. Um, trying to aim again at like some of the ships that... Some of the places where... He, the crystals were chipped, I mean. Mm -hmm. Alright. That misses. Oh no, it doesn't. You hit it. Oh no, it doesn't. It does miss. Sorry. The, like the AC <laughs> other thing's wrong. That hits, yeah. No worries. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't hit. Sorry, that misses. It Me, goes to parry I and like block your the... attack. Okay, then having it oh. blocking my attack. Oh wow. Oh, cool. Thank you for the raid, Little Velos. Thank you. Thank you for the call. Uh, thank you for the follow, Havoc Code. Thank you, guys. Hello, everyone. Sorry if we we're not. Um, oh, welcome to the session. Uh, the party are fighting a bunch of yokai and uh, crystal ske undead skeletal guards. Um, in the uh, sewers of a uh, city. Hello, everyone. But yeah. Sorry. Continue, Lofi boy. Uh, yes. Um. Uh. So. Basically, um, uh, as being a wild magic forged barbarian, um, with this attack that I miss, uh, does it still proc the um, until the rage ends each time that you take the attack action? There's a fifty percent chance to cause another tremor. Mm-hmm. You want to roll d hundred for me? Yay! Let's do it. <laughs> Well, uh, 54? Uh, that is 64. No, no, no tremors happen, sadly. Alright, no tremors. Um, though, as, uh, so I've moved, sidestepped, tried to attack, got parried by the undead, uh, tried to make it tremble. <laughs> um, so, as a last attempt to do anything effective, I'll just shield bash him, uh, just up against the wall. That's it. Mm-hmm. Roll for me strength. Uh, yes. Were he to fail, he would be prone. Ah, uh, that's a very little <laughs> roll. <laughs> he succeeds. And he, like, his, like, as you are pushing him down the stairs, he's pushing you back up them. Oh, he's, I would say with a difficult train, I would say maybe disadvantage. Doesn't matter. 
If anything is better. Uh, uh. You do have a bardic inspiration. I do? Mm -hmm. From Lunika? Yeah, I just gave you one. <gasps> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah! I'm sorry, I, I missed that. I thought. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, It'd be an extra d6er. Okay. 9 plus 3 <laughs> is 12. Oh, just under. Yeah. So, alas. Alas, indeed. Anything else? Um, that is absolutely everything that I can do. Um, honestly, at this point, um, no. <laughs> Thank you, my turn is up. <laughs> no worries. Oh. The yokai. Right, would... Oh, sorry. Oh, no? Sorry, go, go, go. No, 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 it's okay. You sure? I, uh, the last thing I would do is just scream, Sai, are, are you okay? Because, like, everything became silent, so. Mm. Just you don't. To attract him back here. You don't hear anything. The Shabatan on the other side, as you call for time, fires another brick at you with his sling. <laughs> Missing and hitting the crystal guard instead. <laughs> and you see like it just like smashes into the side of the skull of the crystal guard. Completely blindsiding him and you see his entire body just get like flung and like just collapse and break and just shatter as soon as it hits like the the jagged ground. I'm gonna put him over there. And then the Shaban realizing what it's just done. It's gonna like just like try and run away from you guys, realizing like it's as it looks around and jibbers and jatter jibbers, it doesn't it looks like it kinda like is in fear and tries running away. And tries jumping up over here. Fairly successfully, able to make it to the other side and just like runs away. And like, would you guys want to pursue it? Nah, I'm good. No worries. <laughs> I'm gonna end us, take you guys out of combat and put the suit music back on. As okay. if I just do one last thing before you do anything. I'm clear. That was not what happened. And as like soon as, as fast as Thank you, Hannah. As I, I verbatim <laughs> type what I just said. Um, as that one is running away, you can just hear like a voice that you recognize from somewhere a while back coming through from this, um, from up here, from that uh, cave entrance with the flickering light. It sounds like it's echoing and like it's, it's fairly distant. But you just hear it just... Um, Exclamain, exclaim, oh, I, f I told you we shouldn't have let the, that basket hag get a hold of her. I, t I told you keep an eye on her. And then just like, you just hear them like two people arguing with one another. But like that, like you, what you just heard there was growing distant as it was being said to the point where it's inaudible. Also, this is the combat music for the Shinsu, it's not the... Uh... <laughs> Not the ambience. Um, you seem you're saying you recognize it? Yeah? Yes, you recognize it. I recognize it as being... You... Oh. You recognize it as a girl's voice. A... Very angry... Annoyed... Young tiefling woman. <laughs> Is that from, what, up here? Yeah, up there, yeah. But very distant, very far away. Oh, uh, just before exiting Rage, actually, uh, since we're out of combat, there is something that I would like to try uh, that I have no idea if it will work, but look. Um, I'm going to just walk over here and uh, actually aim at... Uh, the kind of like the side of the wall, mm -hmm. I guess, to try to make more rubble so that we can cross over uh, yeah. this uh, thing. Um, so for this, um, yeah, I, I, I guess I, I'll 
Do I roll to attack the wall or do I just roll for make it tremble? Roll a d100 for me. Yes. <laughs> 93. <laughs> I'd say it takes you a while and you're struggling to try and muster. Uh, and like you just get more and more angry as you're doing it. Yeah. And but with one final um one final bit of rage, you do just like smack your um wrist or your hand into the walls and as soon as your wrist touches the wall, the forged bit of magic that is holding um where did it go? I had something I needed and like it just I lost it. Oh there it is. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, you see, like, your roots just, like, tear out of that forged bit of magic that healed you from uh, from earlier. It just, like, gets ripped out and latches itself to the water and just starts pulling away at the, um, at the, at the, at the bricks and just, like, creating difficult and jagged terrain around here, but creating a land bridge out of the bricks that it does pull away. You, it does. It is a, no, no. You won't need to roll. It is a bit of a struggle as you like get try to get your footing, but you are able to make your way across. And like you almost see like the roots have like created like latches to keep you like from like like knocking n notching your legs in there to like keep you from tripping. Just before, uh, as soon as I get to better terrain, I just turn around to hand a hand over to Lil Nico. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm so small. <laughs> As like you make it across, you could you both roll a con save for me? <laughs> that is timing. I know. I love it. Oh no! Can I use my uh, inspiration? I you can. <laughs> You get another strange, weird smell wafted by coming from here, from just like the side. And as soon as like you see, you can you can almost see like the air is discolored when it wafts by, and it goes south. But like it does like just catch your nose for a second, and you immediately just instinctively block your nose, and you feel the hairs on your skin burn, and almost like you feel like. They just they just begin to stand up, in just like and you were just cringing at the smell and like lo-fi where you even feel some of your flowers are like wanting to like just die and wilt from the terrible stench, but it passes without um it passes without much of a trace, and you can hear yeah, you continue yeah. and you continue to hear more of the um the arguing. From within. Still at a distance. At a distance? Uh, from within the uh, um, the tunnel. But you can still hear it coming from within. Oh, 
Oh, so is that a tunnel entrance here? It is. It is. Looking in, you can see a very roughly cut uh, cave, as if like someone like t- had like did some form of terraforming spell to tear away at the uh, the stone around the place. And as like it's done, fair, a fair amount of digging at an angle downwards, you can just see at the end of the tunnel the a, a strange face. You see a face that you you don't recognize. You, it, it, they are a purple t- uh, Genasi. Um, you know they're Genasi because immediately you see the hair is very similar to Rocky's, as cr- as it's crystalline. As you can see, this giant uh, pink crystal ponytail, uh, that high ponytail that is just. If I do this, and uh, you can see the on screen. Um, you guys can't. I'll put it in chat for you guys. Um. Of, but it's very just you can only just see their hair and like gold veins uh, across her like face uh, skin as she turns to see you and her like uh, heavy crystal ponytail hair turns very rigidly as she goes to look at you but you also see beside her um, a few uh, feet a few heads shorter than her only able to match her height because of her horns the distinct furious glare of that pink tiefling that you met at the temple from earlier as she as her eyes just burn as they see you and like you can see her hair just like just sway behind as she turns to you and then she just like she was already looking angry when she turned to see you but then once she notices you guys that look becomes disgust and just rage and we're gonna end the turn uh, end the session there <laughs> just want to do a little wave. Mm. But you do get to wave, and like when you wave, the pink hair Genasi does wave back. Yes. And <laughs> but it's a very like no, no. I'd say it's a it's a it's a fairly fairly uh, fair, um fairly normal wave, and you the pink tea thing also does stop uh being angry and just pouts, but then she does wave at you. As a, as the Genasi girl pats her, and we're gonna end the session there. I'm so good at making uh-huh. friends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's I'm so gonna cool. put uh, I'm gonna put the other character on screen as well because they aren't on screen. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. That was the session. I know we didn't have a break, and it was a long, just a bunch of fighting, a lot of bunch of stuff happening. Yeah, it was really cool. It was very interesting. I'm glad you guys had fun. It was a very fun session. I I had a lot of fun DMing session. I like. I... Oh 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> we can see the height difference now. Yeah, I'm trying to actually like display the height difference. We've got another raid. Thank you so much, Marky Game, for the raid. We were just actually about to finish the session. The party um ah. had just traversed through the uh, the sewers. Um. Having fought off a chimera with a homeless wizard that uh, is a friend of the party. Um, but uh, as they fought the chimera and the wizard were fighting off in the distance, the party continued to fight some yokai and. Uh, and uh, what? And what's the other word? They continued to fight some uh, strange crystal undead guards. So you can say, uh, Lo Fi Boy? Yeah, no, yeah, it was really, really. Um, and the, and the, yeah, I'm scared. I'm burning down Isotope City. <laughs> 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 <Dang>. <laughs> uh, mm. It is true that time hasn't answered back. He hasn't. Um, but yeah, uh, to those that have just joined for the raid, I'm sorry that you've you've missed our session. But I hope uh, your session with Marky Gaming was stunning. I, I can only imagine it was a fun time. Uh, if you do want to catch up on Thrown Top Sands, I'll put the links to the VODs there uh, for next session, which will be in two weeks' time, I believe, on the 5th of May. Yes, the 5th is... I mean, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, June. 5th of June, um, where they'll be continuing. And uh, if you want to catch up with the, the campaign, you can catch the VODs there for next session, because I can imagine... Uh, I can imagine Lo and uh, Lo-Fi Boy being very excited. 
or just Georgia and uh, Sam specifically being excited for uh, <laughs> for next session. Yeah, Maybe not Lo-Fi Boy and all four of us. We really are <laughs> individually and as a collective. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm glad. Let's put us over to the uh, the landing page as we're out of the sewers. And yeah, and you like if you guys join next session, feel uh, you'll be able to take part in in the session and uh, do some layer actions, which we got to see a lot of. From yeah, uh, from chat. Like, it was really funny. It was really uh, it, the balancing of like, because I know it's like a really challenge to find like f- fun things to do that are still balanced and that like are mm. also meaningful. And like honestly, the flush and the, <laughs> and the smells and everything. Mm. And I, I don't know. I just it was they added a lot of like. Uh, I don't know how to say it, like basically just made it like that much more like kind of like epic in ways that if you had decided to do that it would have felt like a bit much but coming from chat just felt like we were living this experience together Mm. and making it like even more crazy and whack in fun ways it was so fun and yeah thank you guys for like partaking in the session through through your uh through using the layer action even helping the party healing them up and like even giving them inspiration thank you everyone for showing up mm. and i hope you guys are as excited as i am for next session because by god i have been wanting to bring these characters back in for for a while now or bring even introducing this new character yeah and i've seen her i think you've like sneakily yeah i said drew her as a commission yeah i said i said it was a commission it was not a commission i, like, I was thinking oh you can you'll you'll tell by her color palette surely but no i fucking blindsided i don't have george you, you I caught him but i i mean i suspected they might be an npc but mm. i didn't connect the dots with kira there they are the shoes i felt like the shoes were a dead giveaway the colors and the shoes yeah thank you thank you guys so much you guys have a good rest of the day thank you for stopping by we are gonna raid our bear in um before we do if you want to and you want to stay in uh involved with the uh the community and the campaign we do have a discord that has a a set of art nights we do every uh every weekend or yeah fridays or uh, mondays I mean, fridays or uh, saturdays and we have a West Marches D and D game that is run in the same setting as Australia and actually has um, in-game effects related to um, where like the everything is happening in real time and everything is affected by one another in little ways. Um, and you can partake in that through the Discord. And there's also just a bunch of cool stuff that happens over there. So if you want to join the Discord, there's that. If you enjoy my art and you want to see more, you can check out my Instagram and my Twitter. It's not there, <laughs> but there. Georgia, you want to share any of your stuff? Yes. Uh, in maybe even next month, or at oh. the very least July, I yeah. will be releasing the first pendants in my D&D jewellery collection. Uh, a... I have a DM, a fighter, and a rogue one at the moment. Uh, so you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. Uh, if you want updates and also help me decide which class to do next. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Congrats. You've been Thank working you. on these for yes. a long time. So. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really exciting. It's it really is. coming. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. It's been so exciting just seeing like your process and like seeing the sneak peeks. Sneak peeks. Yeah, I post post my sneak peeks mm. and process and stuff. So if you want to know a bit about jewelry making and stuff, come yeah. come follow me there too. Yeah, Sam, do you want to share anything with you? Yeah, uh, like I've haven't streamed on my own account for a very long time. Like if you really really enjoy like the vibes and everything, just come on in in the Discord and follow Kaz. Uh, that's where mm-hmm. I am like ninety percent of the time. So. But if I ever do, there's like a thank you cast for the, the Twitch drop. But yeah, nice. just like um, and like also like thank you like for the raids again and like I don't know like yeah. <laughs> mm. 
hearing cast I know I get I, I get it so much I think I actually saw you I searched because I was trying to see if like anyone was called just Kaz on Twitch because I wanted to change my name to just Kaz uh, but then I think I found I think I, I came across you one time and a few others I think there's only four of us on the platform but you you can't have just Kaz because it's it's three letters and I think you have a four minimum I know it's 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 wild um, but yeah and once again uh, thank you guys for watching if you've been lurking watching the VOD partaking you haven't you also got a fun poster challenge? I was. I was going to say, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, but yeah, if you, yeah, we're doing, you can see on the back of the, um, the, the, on the landing page, you can see all these cool posters. Well, if you, let me pull up this because I put it, because it's a poster that should be put on the landing page. Um, as I'm, do, I guess it's every year now we do a poster challenge. Where um, you can partake and add to the world of Shreyleo by creating, um, by creating um, like posters for all, like logos or like business cards or just anything like that's like that would be a part of the world of Shreyleo and like use as a form of like adver advertise adver 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 advertism month. I don't know why I'm struggling <laughs> to say that word. That like feels so weird. But like. Yeah, that's Uh, yeah like like almost everything on here was like this and like these like stickers are the only things that aren't from the poster challenge like these are all like uh through submissions through um through fans of the stream and fans of just like just D, &D and just like world building and stuff and, like if you want to partake in the world building process maybe partake in this uh, post challenge oh my god the deadline's not on the on that page um <laughs> <laughs> And, like this will be running till September first, and uh, if you want to, um, and like, and there is a, a random prize uh, winner that is uh, drawn randomly uh, on the session of uh, the first session of D and D in uh, first session of Throwing Up Sands in September. That will be uh, to win either one of the new uh, fifth edition books that have come out this year, uh, such as Radiant Citadel, the new Modern Kind book, any of the Spelljammers, uh, maybe even the entire Spelljammer set, or you get to pick a fifty pound gift card giveaway, and like the like, if you even if you don't feel like you're confident in art, and you just feel free to just like just like throw something together, and like have it be part of the world. Cause like it's still neat to have this whole community effort, and it's uh, neat seeing everyone produce such cool stuff and add more depth to the world of Australia. And it's just a cool way to bring the community together. And I don't know why the music is always so tense because I didn't put the right music on. Bring the community together. We will. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it's on. Advertisements. Mm. Don't, 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 don't make fun of me. <laughs> I just had to mute the bar. Um, I'm actually gonna close that. But yeah, so like, if you want to, um, Sam knows what's up. He, he does. But yeah, so like, that's that. Uh, here's the raid message. Um, cause we're going to go raid into our bear in. If you're subscribed, you can use the pet pet emotes. If you aren't subscribed, you can use the heart emotes. We're going to just give them a vibe check. And, uh, so yeah, I'm going to throw on the, uh, ending music and then I'll, uh, we'll see you guys hopefully next session or during one of my art streams, uh, on Tuesday. And if I don't catch you then, uh, hope I have you, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bye. Bye. I just said, I just lately said, uh, bye, thank you so much, and uh, have an amazing night, you too, Kaz. <laughs> God, like, I'm trying to like, have this clean ending, like, every time you just over, you, you say something again when I'm about to, like, change to the next scene, I'm like, alright, yeah, thank you, <laughs> thanks again, you guys have a good one, thank you, Kaz the Chaz, you're a bean, it's nice meeting you too. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see you guys. Bye. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.
九年。